Okay. Whoopsie doodle. Is that, why is it showing like that? Nothing showing up here. Just give me one moment. Make sure this is all working. Am I, why can't they see what anyone's saying? Oh, God. Okay, bear with me, guys, for a minute. <laughs> I'll give you two moments. Okay, I'm starting to see chat now. They really, really change things here. With YouTube, holy crap! Yeah, I'm using like a I'm using like completely different software. Oh YouTube, oh YouTube. Okay, I think we're up. Fixed? Are we good? Are we nice and centered? The set is broken. <laughs> Poopski doodle. <laughs> yeah, it should be. Why it at, why it has to do that though is really frustrating. Frustrating. I can't even talk. Oh God, it's not responding. Okay, there we go. It wasn't responding. Bear with me. There's supposed to be a live chat window here. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Okay. I think we're good. Skadoosh. The set is broken. Yeah, the set is broken. All right, guys. Can you can you see me now? Are we loud and clear? Let me make sure I bring this up. The correct. This is going to be so irritating, though. If that keeps popping out like that every time I look at the chat, that's going to be so frustrating. I really wish they didn't have it set up like this. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> it could be your general. <laughs> There's general errors right now. What's up, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in. I believe we are good to go. Unfortunately, things are kind of strange. But anyway, yeah, so we got a whole crap ton of things to discuss here. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I think someone made a donation. If I touch this, I'm going to get penalized. Can I maybe minimize it and then play down here? I can. I can play down here and minimize. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, I'm learning as I go right now. Things sometimes things are just a little crazy in my world. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like this, and like this. I promise you, this won't happen again. What? No alerts are going on right now. This is so bad. Richard, man, thank you so much. Does this work? I don't know. We're gonna find out. I hope that does work. Skadoosh! Did, oh, 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 it popped up! Oh my gosh, guys! Alright. Okay. Error. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming as such. What do you mean, error? Oh, I hate this new setup, man. Thanks for becoming a member, my ninja. Appreciate that. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, can I like just bail out of this whole thing? Do I have to see this? Thanks, Save Talk. Appreciate that. Um, sorry, guys. Still going through some stuff. Can I just get rid of this? If I get rid of that, I won't be able to see chat. Oh my gosh, guys. Why would they do this? Why would YouTube do this to me? I swear they hate me. Can I use pop-out chat? Is the pop-out... Oh, the pop-out chat's working. Hello. Hooray. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to minimize that then. And I'm going to pull this over here. All right. Longest setup ever. I do apologize. Way in advance. YouTube's really crazy right now. 
Okay, it's working fine. Everything's great. Okay, now we're now we're cooking Heaven's Bakery. All right, thanks everyone for tuning in. What up, Aaron? What up, Richard? What up? Oh my gosh, I am. I just I just tweaked out there. Man, their new software is crazy. Anyway, so we got this card right here. <laughs> it is some stuff. Yeah, I wish we could go to Twitch. I know I should have went on Twitch. Um, anyway, uh, legendary creature, Merfolk Wizard. They hate everyone but money. Yes, they certainly do. YouTube does it everyone but money. Uh, so this spell costs one less to cast for each artifact you control. Like I said, there's going to be some big stuff. There's Yeah, there's, uh, there's going to be some giveaways in a little bit. There's going to be some big stuff. Artifacts. Artifacts are going to be crazy, man. Artifacts are going to be huge. And this is, uh, this is a sign of the times right here. Absolutely, Bob. Uh, when Lurker of the Leech enters the battlefield, put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard. Well, that's really nice. And then tap it, choose target artifact card in your graveyard. Uh, why am I tweaking out? Are you guys seeing that? Are you guys seeing that? Did you guys just see my, my screen go? Did you guys see that? Or am I the only one? I don't know if anyone else saw that. Maybe it's just me. I'm feeling crazy because they've changed everything. All right. Maybe I, I'm going to mess with stuff. Anyway, yeah. Choose target artifact card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn. So that's going to be a heck ton of fun. Moving forward. Um, we have Wildborn Preserver here. Everything looks fine. There's nothing crazy. Okay. Wildborn Preserver is our next friend. Creature Elf Archer. Flash and reach. It has flash and reach. Deuce, deuce. Basically, it looks like this is going to replace Merfolk Trickster uh, in your flash decks, in your Simic flash builds. I would assume that's what's going to happen here. It's your eyes, my eyes. Me eyes, me eyes. Me, my eye is something wrong with me always. Uh, but this is going to definitely replace some stuff here. Replace this. Look at that hairline, though. It's pretty nice, huh? Yeah, working on stuff. All right, we have fun. We have fun. Hot dogs. All right, um, that's my thoughts, though. I definitely think it's going to replace Merfolk Trickster, and I'm, you're probably thinking, well, it doesn't have the same abilities. Well, guess what? Nobody cares. No one asked you. Now you know. But uh, we have fun. Um, there we go. Okay, so yeah, we do have this uh, Wildborn Preserver. Flash Reach, whenever another non-human creature enters a battlefield under your control, you may pay X. When you do, put X plus one plus one counters on Wildborn Preserver. Skittles, no one's won anything yet, man. That's going to be at the end of the stream. Uh, I, I had to tell you right now. It just freaked out. I told you, something's wrong with this. I don't know what's going on, man. This is new YouTube setup, man. They did this. It's stupid. Um, yeah, it's a wolf. So whenever a non-human creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay X when you do put X plus one plus one counters on Wildborn Preserver. That's crazy. You can continuously pay X like whenever you drop something and it gets larger. And not a little larger, but a lot larger. A lot larger, which is just bonkers, man. Yeah, pay X, that's insane. So, I mean, now having flash is cool. Having reach is great. How does this thing... Oh, I see. It's the little dude. You look at this card, and you almost think it's a wolf, you know? When you get a good, when you get a good look at it. Yeah, oh, definitely will be in flash builds. I'm assuming Simic, man. Well, thanks, Nathaniel. I appreciate that. Elf Archer, I know. But there is a wolf right there. And it, it, I mean, I guess, oh, he's on he's on the wolf. He's riding the wolf. I think the artwork on this, because they didn't really make it, uh, it's a fox. It probably is a fox, man. Fox and hound. Oh, gosh, Disney. Watsy stole everything from Disney. But it's legal, so what are you going to do? Um, wait till you see Prince Charming, or shall we say Charming Prince. He's coming up in a minute also. Really, really weird stuff, man. I don't like how I look right now. Anyone else not liking how I look? Ooh, I don't know what's going on here. Let me just shrink that. There we go. Okay, I feel better about life. Oh, uh, who won the Commander 2019? Nobody won it yet. I wish someone would get it. I'm so tempted to sit here and be like, all right, just start guessing numbers, and the first person that guesses the number wins. But don't, 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 don't do it yet. Don't do it yet, Billy. Not just yet. I don't need the whole stream flooded. Um, but yeah, this looks like it's going to be a fun card. Very impactful. It's a rare. I'd say starting price is like two fifty, maybe three dollars. But man, that ability is pretty bonkers, if you ask me. And then we have Robber 
of the rich. What are your guys' thoughts on this? I'll tell you my thoughts on this. Um, it looks like in mono red burn, it's going to be replacing, uh, the one wizard. Uh, what's his name? It's a one, two, why don't I, or two, one, but he's rotating out for uh, the one from 2019. This sucker's basically coming on in. Stop guessing numbers. Stop guessing numbers. <laughs> Actually, if I did see that someone did guess it correct, I, I would I would happily give it to you. I'm, I'm just saying. But I, that doesn't mean start guessing numbers. <laughs> oh, God. They're all going to guess numbers. I know what's going on. What up, Jalen? <clears throat> St Stephanie Gardner. Thumbs up. Seven up. All right. So, Robber of the Rich. Really, really powerful card. I think that, yeah, it's a reloader. Exactly. And everyone's, like, kind of talking crap about it. They're like, since when do you want to ramp up in red? You know? And that's that's uh, let me read it again whenever robber of the rich attacks if defending player has more cards in hand than you exile the top card of their library during any turn during any turn you attacked with a rogue you may cast that card and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast that spell so that goes for anyone I mean, that's pretty crazy. Like, any rogue, I think any rogue, when it attacks, this will trigger that ability, which is pretty stupid. You guys need to be more creative. Your numbers are pathetic. Like, 666, 500, think outside of your little boxes, man. No, it's not 666. It's not 420. It's not 187. It's not 999, Okay. It's not 101. This, you, this is redunculous. I'm sitting here trying to do spoilers, and all you're doing are throwing numbers at me. It's not 911. Where do you get off thinking I'm going to put 911 up here? The answer should be Creeper. I should just give it to a guy over there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <sighs> 563. No. Oh, four Real funny. All right, all right, moving on. <laughs> Some, a few people came really, really close, though. I'll tell you that. All right, that's it. We're going to sit here until someone wins it. All right, that's what you want? Fine. That's what you want to do? Fine. All right, you guys just took over my entire freaking stream, man. Took over the entire stream. Start guessing them. Let's go. Oh, God. No one got it. It's a number one through a thousand, and you get to have your pick of this or this. It's between one and a thousand. These are not cheap right here, my friend. Numbers one through a thousand. Let's go. You get your pick right here, man. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, it's going crazy. I don't see it yet. Come on. You guys wanted this. Let's go. Who wants these commander decks? Guess the number. One through a thousand. Oh, gosh, guys. I don't see it yet. Come on. Come on. Is that all you guys got? Is that all you got? You better hit the like button if you're guessing numbers. Uh, I'm looking. Nope. Nobody's getting it. Two commander decks up for grabs. One through a thousand. Let's go. This was the stupidest idea I've had yet. Oh, gosh. Some close guesses. But you guys just don't have what it takes. You don't got what it takes. Thanks, Christian Allen. Appreciate that. Oh, another real close guess. You guys are crazy. Oh, we're, you guys are so close. You're like on the precipice. Come on. Whoever gets this right, share this live stream right now on social media. Someone has to get this right. One through a thousand. There's two commander decks up for grabs. Someone's gonna get one. You'll have your you'll have your pick on live stream. Guess as many numbers as you want. You cannot go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, though. I don't I don't want that crap. Come on, some <laughs> someone's gonna get it. Unbelievable. No, 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 no. You're all wrong. Shame on all of you. No. Come on. These puppies are right here. Someone's going to win this. We're, we're, fi we're finishing this right now. This is the OK Corral. All right? Someone's taking these puppies home right here. One through a thousand. 
Oh, come on, guys. Oh, some are so... Oh, my God. Some are so close. Some are so close. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Two commander decks. Come on. Come on. It's not 6-6. Six, six, Why would you think I'd be that... The, all I'm saying is the number I picked was was brilliant. It was extremely, extremely brilliant because no one has guessed it yet. These two, come on, somebody get it. One through a thousand. If you're not subscribed by now, go kick rocks. Come on, where are you at? Oh, come on. One through a thousand. Someone's going to get it. Oh, one through a thousand. Let's go. I want to give a hint so bad. <laughs> I want to give a hint so bad, but I'm not going to. Uh, no, no. I'm surprised I could even keep up on this. I, I think my, my eBay search skills for me being able to pay attention to everything on screen right now. Like, one through a thousand. Come on. Where is it? Oh, some close guesses. Some close guesses. Oh, God. Oh, it sped up really fast. Uh, one through a thousand. Nope, nope, nope. Someone had it really, really close there, but backwards. If you weren't so backwards in life, you could have won one of these commander boxes. <laughs> Someone did get it, but it was backwards. I'm just throwing it up there. <laughs> Go scroll up and find it. <laughs> one through a thousand. Someone's taking this. Come on, man. Rudy's over in the other room making tacos. They're getting real floppy and soggy. <laughs> Let's go. One, not over a thousand. It's one through a thousand. One, one through a thousand. This isn't rocket science. Oh, really close guess right there. But no cigar. Whoa, whoa, that was fast. Uh, no, 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 no. Man, thank God I knew how to scroll on eBay really, really fast and search things. Ah, you guys are so close. One through a thousand, come on. Holy smothering tithe, man. Someone's going to get this. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe nobody guessed it yet. Come on, somebody, I want to give these away. I want to give the I want to give this away so bad. Come on. Holy crap. I'm about to just give it up. I'm pro after this stream, I'm probably going to have to go back and recap, make sure I didn't miss anyone. If I did miss that person, I'll give him the other one, but right oh, so close. 1 through 1000. Someone's taking home a commander box, man. Your pick. Nope, that ain't it. Sorry, Bill. Ooh, no, no. Very, no, no, no. Very, no, no, I'm sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. You didn't get it. Sorry. Nope. One through a thousand. <laughs> so much for a spoiler video. One through a thousand, guys. Someone get it. This is just ridiculous. One through a thousand. Now, if you guess too many times in a row, YouTube will kick you in the bean bags. You don't want to be kicked in the bean bags, do you, Billy? Oh my God, you guys are so hot. This number is ridiculous. The fact that no one can guess it. Oh, that was so close, but off by exactly 100. I'm sorry. We're sorry. Oh, that was close. Someone was off by two numbers. We're sorry. Sorry. Come on, come on, guys. It. I'll, I'll give you a hint. It is not 1,000. It, it is not 1,000. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's not 999. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, someone was off by one number. Oh, oh, you guys are heating up. You guys are heating up. So it's, you're on fire. You're on fire. One through a thousand. Someone's taking home a commander box. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, that was off by two digits. Off by two digits. Where is it at? Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, my head's spinning. The room is spinning. Oh, God. Nope, nope. Oh, my God. It's going really fast now. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it is going so fast. Uh, Nope, nope. Come on. Oh, this is insane. Oh, my God. Nope. Come on. <laughs> Throne of Eldrain is laughing at you all right now. Ooh, is that it? Was that it? Did someone get it there? Nope. Sorry, Bill. 
You cannot, and you, you get disqualified if you start guessing uh, a countdown and numbers. You can't just go nine nine five nine nine four. You can't just do that. That's that's cheating. Cheating is wrong. Oh my god, I can't even keep track anymore. All right, hold on. I gotta scroll up. Shapoopy, shapoopy, da 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 da. da. Someone had to have gotten this. I'm going to check. Hold on one second. Give me a break, guys. Give me a break for one second. Give me a break. There's a way I can look this up also. On my phone, I should be able to look this up. But pause for like one second. Otherwise, I'm not going to see it. I think I could do it this way. I don't know if it works for a live stream. I can search the number and see if anyone guessed it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not in a live stream. YouTube, you suck. <sighs> YouTube's so limiting. No, YouTube's awesome. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let me catch up. I got a feeling now someone had to have gotten it. Just give me, give me one second, guys. Give me one second. Don't guess yet. I got, everyone just stop. <laughs> oh my god somebody got it somebody freaking got it someone got we have we have a winner we have a winner we we have a winner <laughs> we have a winner we have a winner and that winner is right here Congratulations to Herman Steel Sanis. I have a feeling this is going to cost an arm and a leg to ship. <laughs> Congratulations. Finally, someone got it. You know the crazy thing? My son Jackson, J-A-X-O-N, he is going to be born. Uh, expected delivery date is September, uh, when is it? September 17th. So basically... I just took the numbers and switched them around. That's all. That's all. 917. Backwards. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Someone was clever though, and they did say um they did say 917 before. And um I was like, oh man, because he he was asking me, he's like, hey, how's your son? You know, and I'm like, oh, he's doing good. He's like, hey, well, anyway, let me just guess my number, 917, because I did mention it uh in a live stream what his uh what his expected due date was and it was 917 so i flipped that backwards knowing somebody might guess that number and made it 719 i know i know i'm crazy i'm crazy it's insane it's insane <laughs> Can't, of course i know everybody said that now i know everybody said the number i know so yeah 719 719 is the correct answer now you all know oh god Okay, 719 is the correct answer. 719 is correct. Uh, so yeah, Cameron, come at me, bro. <laughs> you said 917? <laughs> Where is he? Where is he at? Holy crap, guys. Yeah, we'll be back to spoilers. I know there's plenty of them. There, Herman, there you go. Um, Herman, you can uh, message me right here. Skadink. To my recollect, no, to my understanding, no one said it before him. Now, of course, I will go over it after this. Um, there is going to be a recap on it. And if someone did get it, when this video is over, if somebody did get it, then they're going to have whatever the other guy didn't want, basically. Herman, which one you want, brother? You got Merciless Rage right here, baby. Or you got Faceless Menace. I did s step on it at one point. The box, the packaging's a little beat up, this, this one. A tiny bit beat up. But I mean, it's still good. No, nothing nothing here is, is damaged, I swear. Nothing there. Nothing is damaged there, I swear. I said one. <laughs> awesome sauce. No, I'm not saying that word. 
<laughs> Love you, babe. Someone finally guessed the number. Unbelievable, my friends. Unbelievable. All right, the guessing has come to an end. Yeah, email me and we will be in touch, man. Let me know what you'd like. Back to the spoilers. Now everyone's guessing 719. I said that 10 times. <laughs> I'll say 719. <laughs> it's okay. No, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad it was taken over. That was funny. Herman, email. Herman, email me. Right there, man. Yeah, email me there. You guys are nuts. Back to spoilers we go. Price thought on robber. Um, I'd say out the gate, we're probably looking at about probably six bucks. Five, six bucks. We could find out. We can find out what it's going for. Skadoosh. Simon says 719. Thanks, Christian Allen. Appreciate that. Thanks for the $2 holla this Friday. Dude, I think that'd be the coolest thing if he was born this Friday. Friday the 13th and a full moon. Fingers crossed. That's just that's just awesome. I'm just saying, that's really, really kick butt, man. Look how red my face is. I was in the burning sun today for like three hours playing cornhole with a friend. And my sweet lady showed up too. I'd say four, I'd say five bucks. I'd say five, six bucks is a safe, safe asking price. Just throwing her out there. Um, we can, I can find out right now. I'm actually going to look this up. Let's find out what he's going for. Oh, wow. These people right now are putting down a, um, a $10, $15 price tag on eBay. 15 bucks right now on eBay. $15 on eBay. Oh, congrats on your wedding anniversary, Rob. Congrats. So right now it's going for 15 bucks. I, I don't think... It's a good card, though. It is a really good card. The scammer zero zero artifact creature with flash. When you enjoy the scammer is cast, each player hits that like button. Yeah, he hit the like button. What spoilers am I using? Um, like what site? Scryfall. Scryfall. They have the best quality. Where is the commander deck? Yeah, wacky stuff happens. Like my son's born. That's wacky. All right, so we do have Robber of the Rich, um, Human Orcha Rogue. It's got Reach and Haste. Pretty powerful, man. Um, whenever Robber of the Rich attacks, if, if any player has more cards in hand than you, when you're, remember, if you're running red and you're running stuff like this, you're just going to basically have a burn kind of deck. You know, that's about what you're doing. You're re we're replacing um, the 1 2 drop. That's a 2 1. Why can't I think of it? It's a wizard, though, um, in red. We're basically replacing that card for this. And that card, I think, is an uncommon or common. Via Shino Pyromancer. That's basically what this is going to do and flop this in there. Pre-release is still like two weeks away. I am getting a, collect, uh, a collector booster box. I am going to get one. Um, but this looks pretty sweet. Uh, great replacement. But it's mythic. It's, and it's not legendary, which is pretty cool. So there you go. There's Robber the Rich currently going for 15 bucks. Via Shino Pyromancer. Yes, yes, yes. Via Shino Pyromancer. Correct. Oh, wow. Um, so here we have Clackbridge Troll. This is a pretty big card, man. This is a pretty big card. That's the beast mode here. Clackbridge Troll is beast. Ryan, new member, man. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Ryan Calkins, for becoming a member of my ninja. 
I got to do shout outs for um, my subscribers or for members on YouTube. I, someone please remind me to do that. Please a patron, preferably. Preferably a patron. Uh, this card right now is going for about four or five bucks. Now, this thing, how to cheat it into play is really the question. <clears throat> and now in modern, I think in modern, it's a bit more easy to cheat into play. Nothing like um, that, that one card, uh, nothing like Hogak, you know. But just an idea over here, um, Ethereal Absolution. It would allow you just to smack around, you know, make them attack. Because they would kill off their goat tokens right away. That's one way, but that is really slow. Really, really, really slow to do that. <clears throat> Goats for the win. Did you guys read this card? It's amazing. Don't steal. <clears throat> Don't steal. Bad things will happen to you. That's right. Go to Poundtown Penitentiary. All right? You don't want none of that. Uh, but this is a pretty beast card. Clackbridge Troll 5-drop. Uh... It's a troll. Trample and haste. When Clackbird troll enters the battlefield, target opponent creates three zero one white goat creature tokens. At the beginning of combat on your turn, any opponent may sacrifice a creature. If a player does tap Clackbridge troll, you gain three life and you draw a card. Now, if you don't get rid of those goat tokens, this thing is terrible. Because that's three turns you can't attack with this card. Absolute dumpster fire trash McDonald's, okay? Uh, but there's other things you can do. For example, Cry of the Carnarium. Assuming you have, like, eight mana at your disposal, which is bonkers. I know, I know, I know. But something else I think a lot of people failed to notice is Rally of Wings. <clears throat> untap all creatures you control. <coughs> I'm sure there's another card cheaper that untaps uh, currently in Standard. Um, I wonder if there is. Is there any other card right now in Standard that is a one or two drop that allows you to untap? I don't know how to get the chat box on screen. Let me see. Yeah, um, my chat box is not working. I got to resync it. I'd have to do some stuff. Chat box is not on screen right now. That's correct. But it will be recapped at the end of this video. The chat box will be there for your viewing pleasure. I promise you this. Yeah, the minus three, minus three. You can do that as well. Oh, Herman, I'm sure I got the email, man. Um, I just, I, I can't check right now. I've got a few things going on. But also you got these, uh, these food tokens too. Too bad they're not creatures. Fake name. What's up, Ninja? Uh, so that's an option. Yeah, what is the card? Let's try to find out what it is. Something that just untaps. You can untap your card. Bada bing. Actually, there's cards right now in standard untap creature for great. Or, or is it tap? You tap it. The artifact. This is true. This is true. Let's take a look. See. We're going to standard. And then I need to do advanced in standard. Oracle text. Untap target creature. Apply. Let's see what would work with that. Oh, man. It, why didn't my... This search is not that good. Untap uh, another target artifact. That's what Manifold Key does. And that three, target creature can't be blocked this turn. That thing's sweet. Untap target permanent, Kiora. Massacre Girl seems pretty solid as, yep, Massacre Girl would be nasty. That's probably what you'd want to do is you, you drop this, then you run your Massacre Girl right after. The odds of this thing sticking on the battlefield, very great. It's very, very great. Pulled the Misty Rainforest. I went out and bought one too. I pulled a Bloodstained Mirror. Nice from Expeditions. I thought he when I bought it. Thanks for the luck. No doubt, man. Good job, Hawk. I wonder how a life gain deck with food tokens do in tournament play. Life gain deck with food tokens. Yeah. I mean, it could be really good. I'm sure there's going to be a way to make infinite tokens or something like that. Infinite of these... Uh, of these uh, food tokens or whatever you call them. Voltaic Key. Voltaic Key is untapped target permanent, isn't it? 
But I mean, that's it's a pretty um pretty sweet card. I think Voltaic Key isn't it? Untapped target permanent. <clears throat> Untap target artifact. So only artifact. Unfortunately, he's not an artifact. But yeah, just give it something that can untap it. Through token mechanics, you guys aren't a big fan of those. Um, then we got Lockmere Serpent up in his piece. Hey, Joey, could we talk you into doing some live drafts? I have not once drafted. Well, I did at pre-release at uh, my LGS. I did actually draft uh, at the local game store with a, a group of, of fine gentlemen. I did pretty well. I hate to brag. I hate to brag. You know what I'm saying? Um, what did I have? I think I had four wins, two losses, something like that. I was the crown victor, though. No, I can't. Oh, did I come in second? I beat the first guy. And then I beat the second guy. I lost the third guy. Beat the fourth guy. Lost and then won. So I, I did draft once. I, I got really lucky, though. And I went um, Flyers, Azorius Flyers, and I just kicked the crap out of everyone. They were, they were all hating. They were hating on a ninja. I'm like, for reals, players? And they're like, yeah, dog. And I'm like, okay. But it was really good. Um, this card. I love this card. I don't think it's like going to be an expensive card. But this is going to be a uh, Demir Nightmare. Um, Lockmere Serpent. Can we get a price on you? Can we get a price on you? Currently about $250 they are selling for. Not bad. But I love that you sacrifice an island. Lockmere Serpent can't be blocked this turn. Only thing that's not really too amazing about that is we do have a card in currently in standard that is an artifact and allows a creature to be unblockable. But that's still pretty cool for this card on its own. And it has flash. So once your opponent's all tapped out, you smack this smother and tithe or lover on the battlefield and you sacrifice your island, make it unblock, you make it so it can't be blocked. Ba -da -ba -bam. That's phenomenal. Sacrifice a swamp, you gain one life and draw a card. What? Tafiri much there? Should we untap two lands while we're at it? No? Okay. It's a little different. I understand. And then for Deuce, uh, exile five target cards from an opponent's graveyard. Return Lockmere Serpent from your graveyard to your hand. Activate this ability only anytime you could cast a sorcery. So it's good. Some recursion coming back at you, you know. But the casting cost is pretty steep. I could see like a one or two of index. Um, Demir top end. This is a way to close out the match, you know. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure how crazy it's going to be. Well, we're going to have to wait and see, my friends. Huckleberry Beanstalk, you know what I'm saying? Huckleberry Beanstalk. Why is my chat not working? Does anybody know why Joey Moss's chat's not working? I guess I got to check it out in Streamlabs. I got to get the right code again. It used to work, but not anymore. Any Hooters. So, yeah, I like Lockmere Serpent. Uh, it's going to be a little pest. It seems it seems a lot of fun. It does seem a lot of fun. Going to buy a box of Eldraine. Great time to do it. Great time to get into it, man. Next up, we have Feasting Troll King. Get a load of that ugly guy. That is some gross sauce, man. Um, the, the deuce is broken. Oh, 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 I will be giving some stuff away to subscribers, might I say. I have a Beast Whisperer right here, and I also have Mr. Ral Is It Viceroy. That's correct. I will put my John Hand... I, I, I can't say that word, man. There was a time when I was really, really dirty, but not anymore. All right, Soren, if you'd shut up, maybe I'll do it. Reanimation deck, do. Yep, yep, that's definitely going to go in a reanimation build. All right, let's do this. Let's let's do this. All right. What's going to be the question? What should be the question? The troll does look sick. We'll get into it in one second. Oh, no. All right, we're going double ink on this one. Ooh, it's going to get silver and gold. Hot tags. All right, let's see. There, ooh, that one I used for other stuff. Like my wedding. All right, there we go. All 
That looks nutty. I don't even like how that came out. Beast Whisperer, you just got wrecked. Skadoosh. Joey and the Beanstalk. Make sure you check out Joey and the Beanstalk. He has a YouTube channel as well. Make sure you check out Joey and the Beanstalk. Indeedly do. Indeedly deedly do. It actually kind of looks nice. We'll see. Make sure you check them out. Also, check out Wood Dog, too. I don't know. Wood Dog. I think it's Wood Dog MTG. Check that out also. I think that's his name. I think that's how it goes. Yeah, the number was 719. Finally, someone won the commander thing. I gave it away tonight. I gave it away tonight. Somebody took her on home, man. Finally. I, I, was, I honestly was getting sick of going and looking up uh, 719 in the comments trying to find it. <clears throat> Cameron, I, I will check. After this stream's over, man, we will find out, Cameron. Make sure uh, you keep in touch with me, just in case. Just got Mr. Beach, Mr. Beast merchandise. Hate to brag. Whatever, dude. Send me one, please. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. <clears throat> All right. All right, really quick, and then we can get into this. I missed a lot, so where can I find these? Where can you find these? Working. These cards are not out yet, but they will be. Over here on the left, right now, do you guys have any idea how much, how many, how much money? Twelve packs of uh, of this like masterpiece collector Throne of Eldraine box is going for. Twelve booster packs. They're currently selling for like 40, 50 bucks a piece. That's nuts. That's crazy. Um, for a booster box right now on eBay, they're going between three fifty and four fifty. That's bonkers, man. That is bonkers. That is bonkers. All right, first person to tell me the last letter of my first name is going to take home a Beast Whisperer. Let's go. Let's go. First one to get it. Oomp, 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 oomp. Who's going to get it? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, guys. It's not rocket science. <laughs> James says 875. <laughs> James, you're way off. Oh, gosh, I guess there is a bit of a lag because of uh, quality. Why? Chuck Norris, of all people. Chuck Norris got that one. I got to fix that latency. That latency is bad. <laughs> that latency is bad. That latency is so bad. Chuck Norris, congratulations. How's it feel? You want a Wonka? Chuck, um, Chuck Norris, make sure you uh, email me at, uh, at this lovely uh, address here. Congrats, Chuck. Congrats, Chuck. <laughs> Chuck got a Beast Whisperer. Well, get a load of that. It's like gold. It's like gold and silver. The first of its kind. I think it looks breathtaking. Hurry. 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 The question's over. It's already over. <laughs> Chris Johnson, what's up, ninja? It feels great. All right, so yeah, let's take a look at Fe uh, Feasting Troll King. I'm telling you right now. It looks like with... with um, what are they? One of those lands called that are that are rotating out? Not the shock lands, um, but the other lands. Somebody help me out. Not pain lands. What are they called? I got some sitting here. Um, what the heck are they called? But with those lands rotating out, oh, I'm totally gonna sign an evolving wild for somebody. With those lands rotating out right now, um, in like two weeks, that's gonna cause a cataclysmic catastrophe of monstrous sizes. And what's going to happen is mono cards are going to come back. Mono decks are going to come back. That's why we're seeing a four drop feasting troll king. Well, six drop, but four green mana specifically to cast. We are going to leave these whole three colored decks behind. And in the new meta, get used to seeing mono and two color. I'm calling it right meow, 
okay? Three colored decks are just not going to be competitive. That, now, I'm not saying it's impossible because it will, it, 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 they, there, they, there will be some competitive ones. But I'm telling you right now, mono and two color decks are where it's at, man. That's where it's at. Devotion is probably, yeah, Devotion may be peeking its head around the corner. Mono green. I am really, really hoping for mono green to come back. Um, for sure. So we have Vigilance Trample. Six to bring out. It's a 7-6. Carnage Tyrant stats right there. Minus the Hexproof thing. When Feasting Troll King enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, create three food tokens. That's a lot of food. This guy's got to eat, man. Sacrifice three foods. Return Feasting Troll King from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate this ability only during your turn. That's a nightmare. That is a nightmare. There's got to be something out there that just, like, just <laughs> board wipes all these artifacts, man. Artifacts are going to be everywhere. It's going to be out of control. Yeah, think, yeah, th right. Adamendum or whatever it's called. Just think of that. The Checklands. Thank you, Brian Coon. Thank you, Coon Dog. Um, yeah, I think Lantern's still around. No, yeah, Lantern's still going to be in this. Or is that 2019? No, Lantern's in this, right? It makes me want to look it up really quick. I'm pretty sure Lantern's, yeah, Lantern's not going anywhere. Wait, is Lantern rotating out? Lantern's here to stay for another year. So, I mean, with that, yeah, for sure. We're going to see some other colored decks. But I'm telling you, Mono's going to be big. Mono's going to be big. It is the infamous Sabrina. Hello, Miss Miller. You're hot. No, you're hot. You're hot. You're hot to trot. My face is hot. Tessie boy is going to kill you with the food now. Yep, basically. This thing's looking nasty, though. Very big, very powerful. Oh, I can't wait to crack open these packs, man. This is going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts. Next, we have OK Ranger. And we have Eat It on the left over here. Hybrid, hybrid mana casting costs, man. We are cooking up Heaven's Bakery with the hybrid stuff. This card is like two cards in one here um, that we've seen before. Its name is Eat It. That's right. Eat it. For four, the mirror colors. Sorcery. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card in that player's hand or graveyard and exile it. You may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. And you may spend mana, as though it were mana of any color to cast that spell. Pretty nifty stuff. Pretty nifty stuff. You are stealing crap from your opponent's hand. Now this card is going to see a heck ton of play. It is sorcery speed. Not instant. If it was instant, that'd be really cool. Because then with instant, you can just... Hello, Adrian Daly. So then with that being said, um, you can just... You would just be able to... They have their draw step, and then bam, their main phase. Bam, you play Eat It. I mean, that would be like ridiculous to do that. Richard Britton. Thank you, my ninja. Appreciate that. being compl complimented my face is hot epic response no i mean like it's red <laughs> it's <laughs> it's red it's like a hot red i was in the sun all day that's why i said that i wasn't calling myself attractive honestly i have self-esteem issues like the rest of the world um this is eat it over here which is a pretty good powerful spell if you ask me thanks britain appreciate that man Shout out to Weird Al Yankovic. Another thought erasure. No, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I put it up there, Norris, but I mean, it, it scrolls by so fast. There's the email again. Appreciate it, Eric. Yeah, if anyone wants to be a patron, um, that's awesome, too. Check out the Patreon link in the description. All right, Miss Miller, that'll be enough out of you. There's children in the audience. I don't care how hot the hot tub is. All right, moving on. OK Ranger. This one actually spoiled yesterday, but I put it up here because we're looking at hybrid mana casting costs. 
Creature Elf Knight, and uh, bring back for four. Sorcery Adventure, create two 1-1 one, one white human creature tokens. And then it's creature form. After that, you go over to tap it. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. I think that's pretty decent. I think that's pretty decent. Uh, I'm not saying it's it amazing, but I think it's pretty decent. I like that you can get some tokens out of it. Um, and you can uh, then pump your tokens as well. I'd rather just run on a Johnny, call it a day. I don't know about you guys. Saved Hawk, man. Thank you very much, my ninja. Appreciate that. I do appreciate it, my ninja. That's my that's my sweet looking face you just saw blown up. It's crazy. I understand. I understand. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'd rather just run on a Johnny. Um, I know you're not gonna get. Then again, nah, man, I'd rather run this. Maybe like a two of in the deck. Maybe a two of. I'm definitely. I mean, obviously, Celestia. Yeah. Celestia Elf Knights? I don't know. A lot of hype around these. Tonight will be hot. Um, can you guys stop? Yes. Patrons at the end of this. Can you Can you guys stop it? All right. Can you guys stop? I'm just having a good time looking at cardboard rectangles. Some are luxury. <laughs> Where is that little bah, That little jerk at? I'm surprised he's not in here. All right. Moving forward, moving forward. All right, let's see what else we got. Next, we have Shambling Suit and Roving Keep. Construct. Shambling Suit's power is equal to number of artifacts and or enchantments you control. I think I did this one before. Not bad. That's pretty decent, my friends. Zero three. It gets big. It gets ugly. Now, if you're going strictly artifacts and enchantment kind of build, and you have only like limited amounts of creatures, this thing would be amazing. But also, in a food deck, this thing would be amazing. But keep in mind, its toughness is only three, so that's gonna get it's like it's gonna get beat up. It will get beat up. But the things you can do with this, you use um, that one key. Um, is it a key? Like the Voltaic key or whatever. Like the, the card that just got printed. Um, wow, what is that card called? But anyway, uh, you pay three, card is unblockable. Why would you not want to run that kind of card in here, especially with the untapping artifacts? And you can make this thing unblockable and make it huge and pump it up. Heck, give the damn thing haste. Call it a day, man. Call it a day. A two man or two that you literally can bounce back to your hand. That is so busted. Yes, uh, what Stephen Matt said. We have a two-mana tutor that you literally can bounce back to your hand. That is so busted. That is really busted, especially with Tefiri in here. Not, so you, you drop Tefiri. You, well, three colors might be a little bit more rough. I'm sure we're going to pull off. Manifold key. Thank you, Cam. Thank you, Cam. Manifold key. That is correct. I, I'm, I'm glad to see that the, um, I'm only like 10 seconds delayed. I thought it was a lot worse than 10, 15 seconds. Fake name. We don't use potty language here, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, but that's pretty, that's pretty legit. You can make this thing unblockable. Manifold key for three. Swing in for ten damage. Well, what the heck ever. Call it a day. Then you got Roving Keep. We were talking about something, but we'll get back to it. Roving Keep's a seven drop. I haven't even read this one yet. Artifact creature wall. Defender. For seven, Roving Keep gets plus two plus zero and gains trample until end of turn. It can attack this turn as though it didn't have Defender. It's a five seven. Now, do keep in mind there are cards that reduce the casting cost of artifacts. Can anyone tell me some of the names of those cards? And they're currently in standard. They are currently in standard. I think one might be rotating out, though. I think, yeah, I think one's rotating out. Uh, it was in Dominaria. But there's another one that is still in, it, it just got printed in M20, in Core 20. And that card allows you um, to reduce the casting cost of artifacts. I think it's by one or, no, it's by two, maybe? I can't recall it. <clears throat> oh, we'll get to that for sure. So, interesting card here. And it's got the Defender. Interesting stuff. Ugin! Ugin also! I forgot about Ugin. I wasn't even thinking about Ugin. But yeah, Ugin would uh, would make your... Artifact decks are going to be huge. Watch out, baby. I'm I, I called it ahead of time, man. I bought myself 60 copies of Steel Overseer for like $1.75 a piece. I waited till it hit rock bottom. Price is going to go... Beep, 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 beep. And I'm just saying, that's all that's going to happen. Claim the Firstborn and Hypnotic Sprite. Interesting. 
For one, gain control of target creature with converted mana cost three or less until end of turn. Untap that creature, it gains haste its on a turn. I love that. I think that's amazing. That is a that is really, really good in mono red in your burn builds. Because you can use that card against your opponent. Whoosh, beep, right in his face. Right in his face. Just smack him in the face with it, you know? I think that's great. Very good card. Uh, Hypnotic Sprite over here. Deuce Drop. Fairy Mesmeric Glare. 4-3. Counter target spell was converted mana cost 3 or less. Counter target spell was converted mana cost 3 or less. That's that's not bad at all. It is 3 to do that, though. But then after that, your little fairy, you got a 2-1 fairy on your hand. Remember Mox Opal? Oof. Yes, I do. I do. I do. That's pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. I, fairy tokens are going to be a thing as well. All right. Worthy Knight. Worthy Knight is a deuce drop. It is a deuce drop. What up, Nan? Well, thanks, Hayden. Appreciate you guys. Joel Schick. You do good work, Mr. Moss. Skadoosh. Well, Joel. Joel, hats off to you, sir. Thank you very much, Joel. I do my best. We have fun here. We do have fun here. Appreciate it, Joel. How long, how long you been watching there, Joel? How long you been watching uh, the channel? Um, let's talk about Worthy Knight. It's a deuce drop. Human Knight. Whenever you cast a knight spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. There's that word, human. Are humans going to be a thing? I, are they going to be a thing come Theros once we hit that time? I, think, I don't think they're going to be that big in this meta, but I believe the following one. We're going to see... Some very impactful human cards coming at us, man. And human cards are going to get, uh, they don't need anything in modern, but they're probably going to get one card that they're just going to love uh, within the next uh, the next set or two, for sure. Goblin Electromancer would be great with these spell creatures. Yep. Goblin Electromancer. Isn't he rotating? Or he got a reprint again, didn't he? Aiden, you're in good hands. There's a billion people here you can ask. You are in luck, my friend. You are in luck. <clears throat> Anointed Procession <clears throat> will be nice with Worthy Knight. For sure. Whenever you cast a knight spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. You just double them up then. And you create two tokens with it. Actually, that's so funny you mentioned that. I have one sitting right there in arm's reach. If an effect would create one or more tokens under your control, it creates twice that many of those tokens instead. Ah, I'm really kicking myself. I did pull two foils of these, though, but really kicking myself. I remember when Anointed Procession was four bucks, and I kept looking at it like, how is that only four bucks? And I, I didn't buy any, though. And I, I kept saying, how is it only four bucks? And then I didn't think about it. It rotated out. I went back to look at it. The card's like 15, 20 bucks now. Redunculous, my friends. Redunculous. TJ, thank you for commenting. I love hearing from the people that never comment. That is awesome. Ryan over here. Um, figure out how to make shambling suit indestructible and you're golden. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Pretty nasty stuff. I'm sure we're going to have something like that too. Over a half a year. Soren Rogers. Legit, man. Legit. Panharmonican. Another card. That card was sitting at like a, only like a couple bucks for a while, and then it skyrocketed. It was just nutty. Yes, Progenesis is good. Yes. Yes, it is a good card. So this is a really cool card. Um, very interesting to see this Human Knight. Uh, and it's a knight as well. Pretty cool. If only, whenever you cast, well, whenever you cast a knight spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. Now, if you were to blend this card... With that other white card um, that spits out a 1-1, one, one, I think it's a human creature token as well. It, for legendary spell, or not legendary spells, whenever you cast a multicolored spell, it spits out a 1-1 one, one as well. If you can, if they give us multicolored knights, which I don't know how many we're going to get, that would be a really nasty deck to build around. Because you're going to be triggering off a crap ton of these tokens. But also, we do have sweepers now. They got there has to be something that gives everything protection for like like one turn, you know. There's got to be something. 
There's got to be something. Yeah, the um, the rail will be up in a, in a later on, later on, to, later on in the video. But this is pretty good stuff. I do enjoy this. Um, here's something crazy. The buy a box promo. The buy a box promo. The buy. Can you smell that? It smells wonderful. It is the buy a box promo. And this thing is bonkers. Oh. Oh, I feel so good. This thing is bonkers. No baby yet. No baby yet. Oh my God, Hayden, that video was nuts. I wish I didn't swear so much in it though, but I was so excited. If you guys never saw that video, holy crap, man. You got to find it. That one's nutty. Thanks again, Joel. You should do my eBay lot again. Did I ever purchase something from you, Hayden? Five color cards. Suplex is, uh, is, is informing us he's doing something. Suplex. That's right, suplex. This thing's nuts. Kenrith the Returned King. All creatures gain trample and haste until end of turn for one red. Oh, this is a commander's dream. If you're running white, you're probably going to, well, nah. Depending what you're running, um, really. It, it depends what you run. You couldn't really, well, I guess you could make this your commander, but you're going to have to have a lot of artifacts or something that produces... No, you couldn't. You could not. Wait, can you? How's that work? If you make this your commander, can you? Isn't it just the 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 colors and its casting? It's CMC, or not converted mana cost? Isn't it just the casting cost colors that define it? Right. Target player gains five life. That's pretty sweet. Your resplendent angel instantly triggers from that. Instantly triggers, man. King John, the author. Oh, I should do more lots? I really should do more lots. Would have to be a five color. Okay, cool. Modern humans. I was just talking about that, Sean. Richard Britton, you crazy son of a gun. Thank you, Richard. Skadoosh. Richard's been with me for a long time. I appreciate you, Richard. Richard, thank you, man. Super chats are always welcome in this house. It's five colors. It's a five color identity. Okay, that's what I thought. So then, okay, that makes sense. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, guys, for clearing that up. I, obviously, I don't play that much Commander. You can tell. I've only played it a couple times, and I didn't have to learn a whole lot. I think I was running a Simic uh, Commander deck. So there wasn't a whole lot to learn there. You could play all five colors if this guy's your Commander. Wow, that's pretty sweet. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. And uh, I don't know how great he would be. I mean, as a Commander, I'm sure he'd be pretty good. Target player, uh, target player draws a card with the blue for four. It's kind of steep, though. But... It's all these abilities are built into him. You know, that's pretty sweet. Like, they're, they, you already have all this. Would you like card draw? You have card draw if you need it. Would you like to put a plus one, plus one counter on something? Here you go. You want your creatures to come with trample and haste. There you have it. Do you want some life? Here you go, served up on a platter. One of your creatures died. How about you get it back? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good stuff, man. That's pretty good. Thanks, Richard. Appreciate that, man. It's funny because Doubling Season was just reprinted, but hot darn, man. It was at like 25 bucks, and now it's back up to like 50. Yeah. Support an EDH deck? He'd be a major support, but the thing that stinks if you lost him. Put target card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under its owner's control. You can even, yeah, he would be support. Yeah, because of that ability, because of the five right there for sure. And then target player, target player. Yeah, yeah, he would be great support. You ain't kidding, man. He'd be phenomenal support. There were two. 
I think I got two from that one. Yeah, it was two. I'm kicking myself to this day. Um, what were they that I opened? Do you remember the names of those two masterpieces? One I can't find. And the other one I sold. I'm so... I'm so upset I sold it. 125 bucks I sold it for. Hundred and twenty five bucks. I, you guys gotta see that video. It's it's seriously crazy. Someone find the name of that video. I can't remember the name of it, but that is stupid. <clears throat> Alright. Though so yeah, Kenrith is looking pretty sweet. We'll give it that. Yep. Unclaimed territory. There you go. How much is the box going for? The buy a box promo? Boxes right now are like 92. Collector boxes are going for... Collector boxes, I want to say, are about 400 on eBay. Now, the good thing that Wizards is taking these, these booster box, these collector boxes, and they are distributing them to local game stores. They're not doing the stupid eBay thing this time around. The Misty Rainforest did not count. I'm sorry. That was a nasty pool, though. I sold that one also like an idiot. The guy got it graded. BGS 9.5. With the swear word shame. Yeah, if you guys saw that video, I do swear a lot. I, I'm, I am a jerk in that video. For sure. For sure, for sure, for sure. Um, I want to look up how much this costs. Holy crap. Pre-sale. 50 bucks. $50. Wow. 50 bucks right now. This is a really, really good one. Um, I think they hit a home run with this card. It's like every time I complain, Wizards does something else. Yeah, LGS is our paying of like 160, but there is no MSRP now. So if you have a shady game store that just, I mean, I'm glad I'm I'm not shady. I'm glad LGS is able to make money. All right, and with this the, the whole no MSRP and uh, got my collector's box for 250. That's good, Eddie. That's what you should honestly. That's what you should be paying for these. But the people at these LGS, they're going to be charging $350, $400. I'll tell you right now, I won't pay over $275. I won't pay over $275. I just, I won't do it. I already found one on the black market. Just saying. I already found one on the black market. I did have to pay $275, though. I understand. I understand. But they're going to be worth it. You only get 12 packs, but every one of those cards is ridiculous, man. This card plus training ground. Yeah, you're pretty nasty. Dabby Nath. Let me look it up. Training ground. <clears throat> Training grounds. Training grounds. Activated ability of the creatures you control cost up to two less to activate. This effect can't reduce the amount of mana and ability cost to activate to less than one mana. That would be pretty nuts, my friend. Yeah, that with training grounds would be great. I bet training grounds is it might tick up a tiny bit because of that. It's a one drop enchantment. That is stupid good. That's really good stuff right there. And that's a really good card. Boopinator got me this chair. I'm just saying. All right, let's go on to the next one here. Now we have Outlaws Merriment. Or you could also call them the Merry Men of Robin Hood, basically. That's what you're looking at here. The Merry Men of Robin Hood. I understand. It's crazy, but that's what it is. <clears throat> that's what it's called. Holy crap, random MTG eBay purchase. Watch that video of mine. That is crazy right there. Moving forward. Outlaws Merriment. It is a four drop. Enchantment. Mythic. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose one at random. 
at random. How, why would it say choose one at random? You're really not choosing it if it's random, Watsy. Create a red and white creature token with those characteristics. 3-1 human warrior with trample and haste. 2-1 human cleric with lifelink and haste. One two human rogue with haste and when this creature enters the battlefield it deals one damage to any target. You mix this with um what's that what's that guy? A par, panharmonican, basically. Um or your Yarick. I'm pretty sure that would trigger with Yarick. Oh no, it has to be entering the battlefield effects. Not never mind. I don't think it would work. Sorry guys, don't listen to me. Unbelievable. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose one at random. Create a red and white creature token with those characteristics. 3-1 human warrior with trample and haze. 2-1. I don't think it's going to be that good of a card, honestly. What would this pair nice with? Where would this even go? You wouldn't want to run this um, in your uh, in your feather deck because you're, you're going to want to like maintain your position and be able to protect stuff and have mana. You know, like you're going to need your mana. I don't see where you, you're not going to run it in that. I don't know where it's going to fit. Unless, I mean, we got to see more cards and something to build around, perhaps. Random Jeskai Control. There's a card where you get two upkeeps and get two triggers. That's pretty nasty. Human deck? Yeah. Oh, definitely human deck. Yeah. Every turn you're able to create a human on its own. And it's not even a 1-1. It could be a 3-1, a 2-1, or a 1-2. Human warrior, human cleric, human rogue. Yeah, if only it was knights. I do agree with that. If only it was knights, because then you'd be seeing, you know, you'd probably be seeing four ofs in decks. If this was knights, I mean, you would just overwhelm your opponent. But could you imagine just having two of these out? Naya token, Boris tokens. And the net, yeah, we're going to get to that equipment too. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be, yeah, tokens are probably going to be back and coming back heavy. <clears throat> I don't. I don't really see exactly where it's going to fit. I honestly don't. Um, if it was Knights, yes. But right now, I just... It's a good card, I think. I think it's sweet every turn you can drop that. You can drop some, And the casting cost is not asking too much. Well, I, of course, Boros Tokens. It would have to be. Mardu Knights are going to be a thing. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. For sure. For sure, my friend. Absolutely. Prince Charming. Meet, uh, meet Prince Charming. Meet Prince Charming. Hope I triggered all of you. Charming Prince is a deuce drop. Wonderful flavor here. Who could tell me what they were doing with this flavor? When Charming Prince enters the battlefield, choose one. You can scry two. You could gain three life. You can exile another car, another target creature you own. Return to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. You can go flicker this thing. This is a powerful human. This is a powerful human. That, that little flicker ability, man. Almost flicker. Does it bounce exactly? Anointed procession with angels. Nasty. Boros angels. Boros angels. Could be. Could be. This is going to be in your collect and edition booster boxes. Um, which you can purchase from your local game store as long as they are as long as they get some. <laughs> Let's see how much. They're selling for 45 bucks a pack 
for a box of 12 packs. 300 89 dollars and 95 cents 384 is the lowest regular booster boxes are 91.99 that's well, that's the only place you could find these i don't think they're going to be randomly inserted they should do that though are these also going to be randomly inserted in regular throne of eldraine boxes What do you get when two charming princes run onto the field? Infinite ETB. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Shane, I read it wrong. Buy and don't open. Oh, I'm sure. You already know. We're go he's checking out women, then eating, then making a chick disappear because he's too charming. <laughs> Not spending that. It's a lot of money. I'll tell you one thing. We will be opening one on Bad Boy Gaming. Possibly two, possibly two, possibly two of these um, collector edition booster boxes will be cracking open. <clears throat> Hayden's all about them giveaways, man. Hayden, Mr. Hayden, I'll tell you what, Hayden, I want you to email me, Hayden. I'm going to just give you something. I'm going to, I'm going to sign something and I'm going to, I'm just going to give it to you. How's that sound? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you a Vraska's Contempt. I'm going to sign this Vraska's Contempt. It's going to go to you. I need your, your full name and address, not here, in an email. That way you can go exile yourself. All right? There you have it. There you go, Hayden. Now you can exile yourself. How's that sound? There you go. <laughs> we have fun. We have fun. We do, we do, we do. We have fun, we have fun, we have so much bloody fun. Got here. I didn't know I had a foil Vraska. That's pretty cool. I gotta look at my cards, man. I gotta really sort them. <clears throat> if the Dragon's Endgame on MTG website real for $100? What are you talking about, James? Skadoosh. Is the Dragon's Endgame on MTG website real for a hard hour? I hope you just scribbled on that card. No, I did it. I did a nice little sign. I did a nice little sign there. I exiled myself last night before bed. Thanks, James. Bishop of Wings. Sure. It will be Throne of Eldraine booster boxes. Complimentary. Comp oh, yeah. I will be also um, in the next, I'd say, week. 
I, I sorted that. I sort them all the time. Um, there's a lot more sorting that has to be done. <laughs> Someone won the commander box today. Um, I don't remember his name, but he won. You can trail now. I do remember when, yeah. I do remember when Vraska's Contempt was 15, 20 bucks. That was a good card. Now it's like three, four bucks. And I'm just like, here you go. Sign it. We'll see ya. I didn't think it would drop that crazy. It's going to slowly tick back up, but nothing crazy. It's a four drop. You gain two life, exile Planeswalker. Great and standard, though. I didn't see it dropping that much. Herman won. That's right. Herman won. All right, on to the next. Now we have Weaselback, Red Cap, and Searing Barrage. I love the art on both of these. I love the art on both. If Charming Prince had Flash, yeah, that'd be, na that'd be nasty. So we got, for Deuce, Weaselback, Red Cap gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. That's not bad. It's a one drop one one that you can pump up. If only it had if only it had haste. If this thing had haste and you could instantly that would be so sweet. If this thing hits the battlefield, you pump it up. Boom! Smack him. Almost a ball lightning. Almost a ball lightning, no trample. Good. Coon, I'm glad to hear it, man. Dollar seventy five, bitch. It's a buck seventy five now, Sean. Holy crap! Yeah, I should make a play mat with some of these arts for sure. Um, then we have Searing Barrage deals five damage to target creature. Adamant. If at least three red mana was spent to cast this spell, Searing Barrage deals three damage to that creature's controller. The Adam Inch is actually pretty legit. Brian Coon is Coon Dog. Yep, that's right, Steve Jones. <laughs> um, yeah, that's good stuff. Searing Barrage deals five damage to target creature. That's really crappy. If it uh, if at least three mana was spent to cast a spell, it deals three damage to that creature controller. Garbage card, but it'll be good in limited. Enough said on these two. Then we have Sirkara. The mode. I do like this card. I do. Brandon Moody, thank you for the five, brother. Appreciate that, Brandon. Thanks, Brandon. And James, Dragon's Endgame from Comic-Con. On MTG website. Dragon's Endgame. What is Dragon's? I don't know what Dragon's Endgame is. Am I, am I missing something here? Am I missing something here? Skadoosh. Dollar fifty in Canada. Dragons Endgame SDCC. Oh, oh, oh! Those are beautiful. I cannot share this with you guys. I'm sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. Maybe I can share it with you. I gotta. I gotta change something though. Sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. Life is all about sorry. No, I can't share them with you. Really pretty, though. That is some great artwork. The bolus is, eh. The bolus is all right. That God Eternal Ronus, though, is dynamite. Oh, they're all kind of cool. It's different from what, they're, what they normally do. Really like that Ronus, though. All right, back to what we're looking at on screen. <laughs> Is it worth it? Is a hundred bucks worth it for one of those? An SDCC? Let's find out. Yeah, if they're a hundred bucks. I see some people selling for 175 on eBay. 155 is the low. 
140 is a low. 140 bucks is the low. So if they're selling them for 100 bucks, I'd say, yeah, pick one up. 140 is the low on eBay for a sealed one. <clears throat> I'd say it's worth it. Foil Steel Overseer, a nasty T bird. Resin Reef decks, they're fun. Soren Rogers, I will take that other commander deck. All right, um, so Sirakara the Bold, five drop. Legendary creature. Whenever Sirakara the Bold or an instant or sorcery spell you control deals damage to a player, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. <sighs> Tap it. Sirakara deals one damage to any target. I mean... <sighs> Maybe a one or two of in a night deck. Maybe. I mean, the, th the three toughness is kind of limiting. If it, had, if it was a 3-4, I would say for sure. But it's a 3-3. Three, three. I mean, if it was a 3-4, it would at least dodge that new board wipe that just annihilates all your knights. You know, that would be cool. I'd rather just run a Chandra and call it a day. Yep, Randy, I did hear about that. I saw that um, the day they put it up on the misprint Facebook group. I was like, that's insane. Could you imagine opening that? Over 20000 bucks. What was the final sale price? Do we know? Ryan just pre-ordered Throne of Aldrain on Amazon. There you go, man. How much did you pay, Ryan? Maybe a one of. Yeah, I mean, I don't really see running this card. I, now that I get Sir Kara, Sire, Sire, is it Sire? James Harless, man, appreciate that. Thanks, my guy. Good luck with the kid. Love your vids. I appreciate that. That's going towards diaper funds. Around 22000 bucks. Holy crap. Thanks, James. Skadoosh. And yeah, thanks, Ryan. Field of the Dead goes great with it. Play that with bold build. With without. Collector's packs on Amazon. 30 bucks. Yep. Um, we have Skullknocker Ogre over here. It's uh, but Sire. I'm going to call it Sire. I'm just calling it Sire. She identifies as a man. Sir. Sure. Sure thing, Kara. Sire Sarah really is what it is. It's Sir Sarah. We all know this. We all know this. All right, so then we have Skull Knocker Ogre. It's a four drop. Whenever Skull Knocker Ogre deals damage to an opponent, that player discards a card at random. If the player does, they draw a card. I don't get it. Why would you want to do that? Unless you have a deck that they get punished for drawing cards or and discarding cards. Why would you want that ability? What the heck is that? Oh yeah, um patrons. Patrons, patrons. Um six boxes. We're going to crack open six boxes. A whole case. Same time, same thing we did with the last uh, last case. Yeah, both these cards are terrible. I 100% agree. 100% agree. They're both terrible. <clears throat> now we're back to some other spoilers. Some old, some older stuff. This card is going to be in those brawl decks and what have you. I'm going to go right back over the the new ones one more time. One more time. So here's the new ones again. I'll go through them a little quicker this time. Well, a lot quicker. 
Um, yeah, we'll be doing six boxes again, patrons. It's going to be, I'm going to say it, I'm going to drop it uh, within the next week, only via PayPal. It's going to be the exact same price. You will get a buy a box promo. I think one of my patrons did not get their buy a box promo. I'm very sorry. It was a mistake, and the person never confronted me, but I knew I messed up when I saw an extra one sitting here. So, yeah. I get them from my LGS for for 110. He doesn't budge on that. Pro I'm thinking. Remember that comes with a buy a box promo. Um, I'm thinking. I, I don't want to. I'm not trying to make anything off of it. Um, 108 or no, I guess 118. So you guys pay for the shipping too. So probably 118. And I'll throw in, like, a bonus card. Like, I'll sign something or do something. I'll throw in, like, you know, like a $5 card out of my own collection. I'll do something like that. Promo Steel Overseer, right now they're going for about three fifty four bucks. I'm guessing. Hayden, yeah, don't spam, Hayden. Hayden, don't spam. I'll have to, like, block you. I don't want to block you, man. There you go. I need some, uh, where's my moderators at, man? Are any of my moderators on right now? Dragon's Endgame. Yeah, I didn't even know that thing came out, man. I didn't even know what the heck it was. But it's, um, 100 bucks, uh, someone said right now on Watts and Wizards of the Coast website. If it's 100 bucks free shipping, go for it, man. <laughs> Exile yourself. <laughs> I like that. Exile yourself. I just exiled him. It's true. Yeah, I got to change it. There is a, a 30 second delay on stream. For sure. So, legendary creature, Merfolk Wizard, 3-drop. This spell costs one less to cast for each artifact you control when Emery Lurker of the Lock enters the battlefield. Put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard. <sighs> Choose target artifact card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn. It's a 1-2. It's pretty nasty. It's a Merfolk Wizard. I'm not sure its name, if someone knows its name, but that's a pretty cool wizard. Uh, it's a merfolk wizard. It has stuff. It does things, man. Not bad. And then we got the Wildborn Preserver, Deuce Drop, Merfolk Trickster, Skadoosh Noah. Yeah, I'll fix the delay. I had to set up things today, guys. It was really weird. There's not supposed to be a 30-second delay. I could make it like a 5-second delay, but I, I got to change it next time. It's, it's all about the latency. I'll, I'll fix it next time. Um, I had to get used to the changes Wizards made. Regular Foil Seal Overseer is on the market. Goldfish at 520. So your promo card should be more. No way is a Steel Foil Promo Overseer that much. No way. Unless it just jumped in price overnight. I'm seeing them right now for six bucks, and that's a, those are non-stamped ones. TCG player. Steel Overseer slowly ticking up. Dollar eighty seven right now. Market price. I guess the foil is about seven, eight bucks now. No, no, it's not. Oh, the I was looking at it wrong. Yeah, the, the foil promo, yes, it's about seven, eight bucks, correct. 
eight nine bucks roughly. I was looking at the promo pack uh, stamped Wizards emblem. That one's three bucks. That's what I was. I'm sorry. I I I was wrong. I was wrong. I apologize. I was looking. At, I had the wrong information because I was looking at these the other day too. So there you go. <laughs> Stephen, Matt, people gonna learn real quick. <laughs> yeah, for the stamp one, you're right. You guys are right. The name of the Merfolk Wizards in the text. Are you serious? Did I not read it? I <laughs> trolled everyone. No, I didn't. Uh, Merfolk Trickster, Wildborn Preserver. You're basically going to be replacing it. There you have it. Um, Trickster's rotating out as Dominaria goes bye bye. Slow mo echo. There's no echo. Yeah, Flash gets better for sure. Um, goodbye, Trickster. Hello, Preserver. Hello, Pump Spell. Which is ridiculous here. TCG player can eat a fatty. Do not pay 70 bucks for a collector booster pack. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Thanks, T-Bird. Yeah, I like to interact with everyone. I like to try to interact with everyone as much as possible. Combo that with the Planeswalker that prevents combo uh, that that prevents opponents uh, opponents card draw. For sure. You're talking about that card from before, though. Yeah, Hydroid Crisis keeps smiling. All right, so that's a powerful card. Whenever another non-human creature enters the battlefield under your control. You may pay X. When you do, put X plus one plus one counters on Wildborn Preserver. That's bonkers. <laughs> I mean, then very next turn, this thing could be like an 8-8 eight eight with Nyssa. I mean, you flash it in at their, um, their second main phase. So they're all tapped out, hopefully. And then you drop whatever creature, maybe a one-drop elf, who cares. And then, bam! I, I, I said it, Mono Red is dead! Hooray! Mono Red is dead. All hail, Grade Stumpy! Yes, I am with you guys. Illuminati confirmed. Um, Yeah, Mono Green, go in the distance, man. Thanks, Hash Brown. Every, every single... Um, live stream I've had, Hash Brown has contributed one dollar and one cent. It is his signature move. I have successfully purchased a total of about twenty one McDoubles from McDonald's thanks to the real hash brown. I know. I hate to brag. I hate to brag. I'm just I'm just saying it. I'm just saying it right there. Mono red will never die, it just transforms. It will be transforming, yes. It's not going to be a burn form this time. If it's going to, there's going to be a competitive mono red build. It's not going to be your your typical burn build this time around. I'm I'm more pumped than anyone because mono green. That's the first deck I ever built, way back in like Ice Age days, way back in Ice Age days. Um, and it sucked. I had no ramp in the deck. I didn't understand how to use a Gaia's Cradle. I had three of those. I'm like, I don't get it. Um, what a stupid card. <laughs> didn't use it. Um, all my creatures cost about five or four, between four and eight to cast. Zero ramp in my build. <laughs> this was my first deck I ever made. This is terrible. Just a, a dumpster fire. An absolute dumpster fire. <laughs> absolute dumpster fire <clears throat> now this is an inch oh, I, I just purchased a modern horizons booster box i did i did i did i did it somewhere i think it's upstairs i do have a modern horizons booster box to open on the channel this is this is true it's going to be exciting 
I can't believe I pulled uh, the foil. I wanted a foil Urza, and I was so disappointed when I pulled the foil, um, the six, Renin six. I was actually disappointed when I pulled a foil Renin six. I wanted a foil Urza. So, so bad, man. I still want a foil Urza. Are you getting Echo? I don't know why you'd be getting Echo. No more chopping foil for slivers, okay? Yeah, I'll try not to do that. <laughs> we, we chopped four uh, first slivers. The first slivers. One was foil. Good times. Where are those? You guys know where I put them? You guys know where I put the foil first slivers? Here's a bunch of chopped up cards. What is all this? Got a Vana Butcher I chopped in half. Whoa, why do I have a chopped in half? A chopped in half hallowed fountain. I don't even remember doing that. <laughs> when the heck did that happen? And a chopped in half Vana Butcher. <laughs> when did I do that? And a chopped in half emergency powers. God, this card sucks, huh? What up, Tony K? That's who I was playing cornhole with earlier, Tony K. My ninja. And then I got a chopped in half Magus of the Bazaar. Magus of the Bazaar. I don't remember chopping these in half, but I'm sure I did and had a good time doing it. I can't find my chopped in half slivers. Unreal, man. I'll take a signed chopped card. <laughs> this replaced Dire Fleet Daredevil Joey. Yes! This replaces Dire Fleet Daredevil. Not only does it replace Dire Fleet Daredevil, it also is going to um, be replaced. I mean, Dire Flare, Dire Fleet Daredevil was a sideboard card. 99% of the time. Let's 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 call a let's call a grape a grape, okay? Um but it's also going to be replacing the Pyromancer. Um, Vir uh, Virashima, what is it called? Sure. It's, re it's going to be replacing that card. The, uh, the downside is they're 15 bucks right now and they're mythic. The upside is they're not legendary. So um, have fun with that. Played back when Beta was around. You still got cards, James. This game is so weird now. Dude, I bet. The, 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 the power level has changed. Now, I know there are some very powerful cards back in the day. Obviously, the Power 9 um, and, and a, a heck ton of others, you know. But they are printing, like, creatures and artifacts so insane now. Like, really, really crazy cards, you know. Like, something like this, can you imagine something like this existing in Alpha? It's pretty powerful, man. <laughs> deuce, deuce, where you got that ability on it. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it, man. Two candelabras. Those are nasty. The baby has not come yet, Will. I'm okay, I am liking that the MTG Arena has brought. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. But this is a pretty cool card. Um, it's replacing your V. Why can't I ever say it? The Pyromancer. Virashimo. Hiroshimo. I gotta look it up. <laughs> Virashino? Seasoned Pyromancer. That's a nasty one. 
Young Pyromancer. Viashino. Viashino Pyromancer. We have fun. All right. That's terrible. It took me that long to, to pronounce that. Viroshino. There you go. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um... All right. First person. Okay, here we go. Fun, friendly little card here. Um, I need you guys to guess. Guess a number I'm thinking of. One to a hundred. If you guys don't get the number correct in 30 seconds, I'm going to destroy that. It's a lion's eye diamond. It's in pretty good shape. It's in pretty good shape. I have my number. Okay. And begin. Nope. You're all wrong. Nope. Five seconds. Four. Three. Nope. Close. Two. One. And eh. Timer ran out. It was 74, though, but you were late. I'm sorry. Some men just want to see the world burn. Oh, my God. Oh, lion's eye diamond. Whatever happened to you? Nap my gumdrop buttons. No. You're all wrong. It was in good shape. <laughs> Moving forward. That girl's gonna, she's gonna be mad. She's like, you could have got diapers with that money. Sorry, babe. Sorry, babe. I just increased the price of that by like a hundred bucks. <laughs> it's a fake, guys. It's a proxy. There's no. <laughs> There's no way in there's no way in H E double hockey sticks, my friends. I would rip in half an uh a lion's eye diamond. There's there's no way. I get fake name, I guess wrong on purpose. You rebel you. Just a casual two hundred five dollar card. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but I will tell you this. Everything else you've seen me destroy. That was actually that was the first proxy I ever destroyed. Oh no, there was someone trolled me once and sent me a Gaius Cradle. Everything else has been authentic and real. Those four um slivers, those were not fake. Those were real. Like those were authentic. It was bad. Nick, man, sure. You can have that one. You you asked earlier for it. <laughs> you can have it. Um, if I could find it, it's other half. <laughs> I tend to throw things like like cards around. What did I do with it? I got a wedgie. Hold on, please. There it is. All right. Yes. Uh, email me. I need me, I need me, don't need you. Silver Shoppy, where have you gone? Silver Shoppy, I won't be long.
That's a keeper. A nice lion's eye diamond blended up there. Nice. <laughs> there you go, matey. There you go, mate. Skadoosh. <laughs> right, his name on the back. Nick. Hooray. All right. Lower back pillow for the one. You seen that? <laughs> You caught, you caught me, Laura, back pillow. Baby's butts matter. That's right. All right, let's go through these. So you have Clack Bridge Troll, Ethereal Absolution. Creature control, get plus one, plus one. Creature your opponent's control, get minus one, minus one. Great way to cheat this into play. Uh, not really cheat into play, but at least avoid um, the whole white goat creature sacrifice thing. Uh, goat lives matter. Don't you forget that. Desolator, you sick SOB. Um... When it enters the battlefield, target opponent creates three zero-white goat creature tokens. At the beginning of combat on your turn, any opponent may sacrifice a creature. If a player does, tap Clackbridge Troll. You gain three life, you draw a card. That's cool. They can do that. whoopity do. okay? You can just untap it with Rally of Wings. Who cares, you know? Who cares? You want to run gr um, Gruel. Not Gruel. Um, you want to run... Uh, uh, why can't I think of it right now? Oh my gosh. Um, black and green. Why can't I think of black? Um, why can't I think of what black and green is? Wow, that's terrible. Um, I've only ran this a billion times. Anyway, you run black and green. and um, Or black and blue. You could run Demir even. And, uh, well, I guess it wouldn't work. No, what I was about to say wouldn't work. Because I was thinking of Kiora and you untap him. No, it, just, it wouldn't synergize well. But what you can do is just untap it with your good old Rally of Wings. Untap all creature control, whatever. 8-8, eight, eight, right in the face. Right in the bread basket. Right in the bread basket. I love the box topper Goyf signed Moss Boss. I do not have that. I gave that away to the person who won it and I never heard from them after they received it. I'm like, bro, I just gave you a foil masterpiece goif. Axed in half. And they signed it. And you don't even say thank you. Golgari, yes, Golgari. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's long gone. It is long gone. Um, but yeah, there you go. You just do one of these. You can cry the Carnarium. You got the other card as well, you know, that can just kill off their goat tokens. Why not? There you go. Have fun with it. Then we have Lockmere Serpent. It's a six drop. I like this one. Dumb ear. It's got the flash. Sacrifice an island. Lockmere Serpent. Can't be blocked this turn. For a swamp, sacrifice a swamp, you gain one life, and you draw a card. And then for two, exile five target cards from an opponent's graveyard. Return Lockmere Serpent from your graveyard to your hand. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. That's legit. It is legit. I like it because you, you sacrifice an island, and this thing can't be blocked, you know? And you can flash it in. Powerful card. I'm sure it's not going for a heck ton. I'm sure it's not going for a hack ton, but it's probably going for a, a, a decent a dec price. I'd say it's like two bucks. <laughs> maybe it maybe a dollar. Dollar twenty-five, Willie. Dollar twenty-five, Willie. Isn't that the same price your mother charges for you piece of dog? Oh, I still want to say that one. Well, have another, you in lush. Three dollars. 58 cents. I was way off. There's no way it's going to maintain that price point. 
It's a cool card, but it's not a $3 card. Maybe it is. With the flash ability, that's pretty strong, though. With the flash ability, it's pretty strong. Standard mill decks, yep. Pretty nasty, my friend. Pretty nasty. Oh, of the behemoths? Oh, I'm sure. Good point, my friend. Will K. Tobooth Willie. <laughs> Tobooth Willie. We have fun. We have fun. Dollar twenty five Willie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Off by twelve. Ryan can't win them all, can you, pal? Pretty cool card. Not bad at all. Then we have over here Mr. Feasting Troll King and Feasting Troll King times two. Um, this is going to be in your, uh, what do you call them? Your big boy stuff. You know, your big boy stuff. In your collector box edition. Troll Noble. Six drop. It's a seven six. When Feasting Troll King enters the battlefield, love the artwork on it. If you cast it from your hand, create three food tokens. Sacrifice three foods. Return Feasting Troll King from your graveyard. To the battlefield, activates ability only during your turns of 7-6. Vigilance, I like that it is Vigilance and Trample. Notice the casting cost. Four green. We are be, we are losing some lands, some very important lands. We are losing. They're going bye-byes. Never to return to standard. Not for like four years. Mono decks are going to be back, my friend. Later, Coon. Um... Mono green, mono green, mono red, mono blue, mono black. Bah, 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 bah. Lots of mono. Mono green is going to be very impactful, and this is going to be one of the cards that's going to make it impactful. Change my mind. Very powerful. Then we have Eat It. It's a four drop, sorcery. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a nine land card in that player's hand or a graveyard and exile it. You may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. And you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast that spell. Pretty legit. Um, I like it. I love it. It's going to see three or four ofs in decks. Period. Okay, Ranger. Four drop. Hybrid casting. Oh, sorry, er. The hybrids are back. The hybrids are back. The aliens are among us. Devotion? Yes. Devotion's got to be necking its, uh, <laughs> necking its, its neck. Devotion's necking itself. <laughs> Devotion. Okay, Ranger. Pretty cool. Create two white... Um, two one one white human creature tokens, and then uh, you tap it. Creature control get plus one plus one until end of turn. Not amazing, but it's not bad. It's pretty legit sauce. I like the whole sorcery adventure thing. You're, I just, why does it say bring back, bring back four? Why does it say bring back? Can you bring it back? Why is it called bring back? If I pay four, can I actually bring that sorcery adventure back after exile? Probably not. That's just what they put on there. Anyway, anyway moving forward. We got Shambling Suit, Roving Keep, Artifact Creature Wall for seven. It has Defender, though. Roving Keep gets plus two plus zero and gains Trample until the turn. It can attack this turn as though it didn't have Defender. Eat It does have some weird text. Eat It does. <laughs> Necking, what's going on here? God name. Not sure. Um, but very interesting. It's five seven. And then you have shambling suits, sweets, suits, sorry, suits. Power is equal to the number of artifacts and or enchantments you control. Legit sauce. Claim the firstborn. Love it. Gain control of target creature with converted mana cost three or less. Until end of turn, untap that creature. It gains haste until end of turn. Great in your mono red builds. If you're going mono red, you probably want to have something like this. If you're really going to face against your opponent, you're going to want to go with the claim the firstborn. Very cool card. Hypnotic Sprite 2 drop. Uh, Mesmeric Glare. Instant Adventure. Counter target spell with converted mana cost 3 or less. Not bad at all. And it's a uh, target spell. It can be anything. Anything you want. And then it has flying. Um, after it goes into exile, you can pay deuce. And you get yourself a 2-1 flyer fairy. It will see play. Worthy Knight is a deuce drop. This card's pretty sweet, man. What up, Brent? Down to one life. Hydroid goes so good in an elemental build. It really does. 
And then we have Worthy Knight is a deuce drop creature, human knight. Whenever you cast a knight spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. Not bad. If it created a knight spell, it'd be nuts. It almost looks like uh, she has wings right here, but it's just like her Batman cape. You know how that goes. It's a big sword she's got poking her there. I love the art on this, though. That is really cool. It looks like she's walking through a portal. Or like that knight is walking out of the portal. Or is that the white human? I would assume... No, that, that's the... Okay, oh, I get it. That is the knight being cast. Boo! It's just like, hello, I'm here. Like, that's the knight being cast right there. Create a 1-1 one, one white human creature. Story. It's pretty legit. It's a pretty good card. If that thing can stay on the battlefield, especially with cards that um give... uh With the protection right now. Now that we got Trojans around, pff, forget about it, man. Kenrith the Returned King. This thing is fun. This sucker's fun. Kenrith the Return King is a five drop. Uh, I've watched. It's been quite entertaining. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, Eddie. Glad you are enjoying. Glad I'm your muse, Eddie. <laughs> Elf for love. Kenrith the Return King is a five drop. I like entertaining. I, I, I try to. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Take it as a compliment. Legendary creature. Uh, human noble. Mythic. For one, all creatures gain trample and haste until end of turn. Bombshell. Right there. For deuce, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. For three, target player gains five life. For four, target player draws a card. For five, put target creature card from a graveyard under the battlefield under someone's control. Hello, support card. Commander. Brawl. This is also your buy a box promo, and it's going for 50 bucks right now. Keep that in mind. Very nasty, man. Very powerful card. Very cool. This is the king of Awesome Sauce. That's right. He pisses Awesome Sauce. It's just what he does. He doesn't urinate. He pisses awesome sauce. Kenrith, the returned king. Then we have outlaws. More like the merry men and women. This is the merry men and women. Robin Hood's merry men. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose one at random. Create a red and white creature token with the those characteristics. It's a 3-1 human warrior with trample and haste. 2-1 human cleric with lifelink and haste. 1-2 human rogue with haste, and when it this creature enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to any target. Unfortunately, they're all humans. I mean, it's cool. It's four to cast. It's not a legendary. Imagine having four of these out in the battlefield. You're dropping four random human tokens every turn. And then you throw in, well, not Panoramonic. There's stuff I'm sure that can double it. Um, Like Anointed Procession. You throw in an anointed procession in the build. And what do you have? You get two of those instead. Take out your lucky six-sided die. Have a spin. See what happens. Interesting card. It would have been cool if these were knights. For this standard, just saying. But then you would have saw play sets of that. Charming Prince. Prince Charming. Oh, how the ladies love him. Mm, mm, mm. I bet every girl wants to dance with you. When Charming Prince enters the battlefield, choose one. You can scry two. You gain three life. Or exile another target creature you own. The old flicker wrist, eh? Return it to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. It's a deuce deuce. Pretty legit. No big bad wolf card yet. And I'll huff and I'll puff. Yeah, there. I'll get to. Actually, I do have it. I'll show you guys. I didn't want to. I didn't want to show you guys, but I'll show you. It's fine. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, Parallel Lives, David. Another card. I could not understand why Parallel Lives was four or five bucks for the longest time. I just cannot understand that. This is a cool card. Pretty legit. Um, let's find out what he's going for right now. How much is he going for? 
Take your bets. Take your take your guesses, my friends. Take your guesses. How much is he selling for right this very moment? Wow. No one is actually selling him right now. You cannot get a price point on him currently. That's crazy. If anyone can find a price on Charming Prince, by all means, let me know. I have no price points, period. I cannot find anyone selling it. What do you guys think he's going for? Seven bucks, four fifty, dollar twenty-five, five bucks, three thirty-three. I have no price points on him. Um, fifty cents. Eduardo, he's like, I hate humans. Ugh, hate my wife too. <sighs> um, Charming Prince, I'd say probably about six, seven bucks. But that's gonna drop to like four bucks. I don't know. I mean that that last ability, man, is pretty pretty tough. And the scry too. The three life is just uh, like a convenience. I mean, whatever. But exile another target creature you own, return it to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. That's where you're really looking at, man. Tree fitting, not a bad, not a bad guess. But that's really where you're looking at it. And it sells for a half horns lion's eye diamond. <laughs> David's been around, huh? Probably four twenty sixty nine. Aiden, good guess. Then we have Weasel back red cap and searing barrage. These cards are like a dumpster fire. Well, at least we. I'll give Weasel back red cap some credit. If he had haste, it's a one drop and you can pump. Cool. It's a one drop again. The only thing I like about this card is the art on it. I like that you could pump it, honestly. I wish it, if it had haste, though, that would be phenomenal. This thing, well, this would be a really, really strong card if it had haste. Really strong. Searing Barrage, dumpster fire. I'm not even going to spend any time reading that. Sire Kara, the boat. If you want to look at two horrendous cards, why would they even print Skullknocker Ogre? What purpose does this serve? The card on the right here. The right here. My my right. Yes. Why would they print this? Whenever Skullknocker Ogre deals damage to an opponent, that player discards a card at random. If the player does discard a card at random, they draw a card. Why is this an uncommon? Why do I want my opponent to discard a card at random and draw a card? I, I get, it's at random. They, you could be making them discard a very good card. I understand. But then they're drawing a card. I think this card is terrible. And it not only that, but it actually has to deal damage to an opponent for that to work. It's not like this thing has trample. Trash. Sarakara. Sarakara. The bold or an instant or sorcery spell you control deals damage. To a player, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. Sir Sara. She's confused. She's a sir. Her real name's Sarah. She just switched the S and the C. Deals one damage to any target. I mean, it is trending on Instagram to do that, so. All right. Um... <laughs> I don't think that it's a five. It, it reminds me of some crappy thing from Dominaria. Some crappy uncommon legendary from Dominaria that never saw play because it had a high casting cost and had a weak toughness, weak body. I mean, anyone, the, the, the little kid down the street could like smack this, you know, like it's just trash. <sighs> I'd rather run a Chandra that costs four. And then her tap ability deals one damage to any target. Whoopity doo! You know, like, whoopity doo! Nobody cares. Um, here we got some stuff. Uh, Accomplices of Oko. You guys have seen a lot of these cards already, but just like a little refresher for those of you who never have. 
Maybe it's incentive to get four damage in. They've taken eight damage to draw two cards. Mm, maybe, Mints. Maybe. Mm, maybe. Uh, cool card. Cool combination. Cool little tricks here. Equip creature gets plus ten, plus ten. Loses flying. Vigilance menace. And then you got bacon to a pie. Destroy target creature. Create a food token. Create a food token. Gluttonous troll. That'll appear in brawl decks. I want to pee awesome sauce too, man. Just throwing it out there. Why is it uncommon? And why is it red? Why? Just why? I'm hearing mixed reviews on this card. I'm hearing people saying this card's going to be good. I don't know what planet they're on or what they're smoking, man. It, it's a 5-5 five, five nothing. And he can't even... I, I like that it's not like he's Defender. Mm, you know what? This might actually be kind of good. This might be good. Let's find out how much it's going for right now. To the market we go. Okay. It's sitting around two bucks right now. Around two, two fifty. And understandably so. The cards, it's okay. It's okay. That's all I'm going to say. A lot of people are saying it's great. Yeah, it needs trample. It needs something, man. It needs something. It is only three mana. That's true. You, you do get to drop the one. <sighs> okay. If you're going Celestia, if you're going Celestia, which obviously you probably would be. If you're going Celestia, this could be good. If you're just getting a whole bunch of tokens out there, man, and if you're going the token route, I think yes. But without that, uh, no. It's okay. I don't think it's great. I think it's a decent card, but I'm, that's, uh, that's all I'm going to give it. That's all I'm going to give it. Silverwing Squadron. All right, this is more Brawl. I really don't want to focus too much on Brawl. Cool card. Same. It's, it's cool for Commander. Cool for Brawl. That's about it. But not even on Arena is this card cool. Because this card stinks on Arena. Whenever Sliverwing Squadron attacks, create a number of 2-2 White Knight creature tokens with Vigilance equal to the number of opponents you have. Oh, I only have one opponent. All right, Shining Armor is a deuce drop. Love the art on this. Very, very nice. It's a 5-5 nothing. That's right, Trix. It's a 5-5 nothing. Yeah, the deck I made earlier, Aiden, it would work well with uh, Lovestruck. Absolutely. It can block. Britain, it can block. That's true. It's a huge five. It can block. It can block real early. And you can use your um, your Birds of Paradise wannabe uh, goose that, that craps out golden uh, tickets like Charlie and the Chalka Factory, I guess, to ramp it up turn three and have it drop out. No, you couldn't do that either. Because you have to have a 1-1 one, one token out. You couldn't even do that if you wanted to. All right, moving forward. So we have Shining Armor. Pretty legit sauce. Uh, and as a battlefield, attach it to target knight you control. I like this. It has flash. Equipped creature gets plus zero, plus two, and has vigilance. Great for your knights. Uh, it's a fun little uh, combat trick at best. There you go. Silver Flame Ritual. You want to see what Dumpster Fire really looks like. Steel Leaf Elf. Pretty cool. Steel, ooh, ooh, oh, 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 ooh. Sean, you got me there, man. Steel Leaf Champion. He was pretty good. Elvish Mystic reprint yet? Not yet, but we got like a Poser Birds of Paradise, kind of. Um, Silver Flame Ritual. Nobody cares. Then we have the Royal Scions. This card's good, man. This card's good. This card's really good. Plus one, draw a card, then discard a card. 
Because I want to do that. I want to do that. I don't want my opponent to do that. I want to do that. Plus one target creature gets plus two plus zero and gets first strike and trample until end of turn. Is it Drake's? I'm gonna love crap like this. That's amazing for is it Drake build. Um, yeah, there you go. Run it in your Drake builds. Have fun with that. It's minus eight. Draw four cards. It's pretty big. Four cards is big. Don't ever underestimate the power of draw. Ever. When you do, the Royal Scion deals damage to any target equal to the number of cards in your hand. People are really focusing on the whole minus eight thing there, but the, really they're focusing a lot on the number of cards in your hand. Let's throw out a bunch of cards. You know, no, I, who, whatever. I like that plus the second plus one. Target creature gets plus two plus zero and gains first strike. Trample until another turn. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Really cool card. Garrison Griffin. Nobody cares. Whenever Garrison Griffin attacks, target knight you control gains flying until another turn. Kind of cool target knight if you have a really big knight. You know, and your opponent's running just ground creatures, I guess. And uh, you can fly overhead and get some damage in. This thing has to have flying. I think I just missed that. <laughs> then we have Oko Thief of Crowns. Looking pretty legit. Oh, well, thanks for tuning in there, Cinder Cinderate Streams. Appreciate it, man. Is it Phoenix card? Modern Joy. Yeah. I, I, I don't think... <laughs> I don't think it's going to do that much for uh, um, for Is It Drake's. I meant to say Is It Drake's. Has I been saying Is It Phoenix? Is It Drake's. Is It Drake's. Reliquary Tower is in standard. This is true. But Lionheart. Let's be fair here, man. Just think, Lionheart. How, how, are you the actual Lionheart, dude? Are you the, you're not, you're not, you're not the, you're not the real Lionheart, are you? You couldn't be the real Lionheart. There's only one Lionheart. Um, Royal Assassin's really powerful card. You're looking at probably 20 bucks, man. You're probably looking at like 20 bucks. Howdy, stranger. Um, let's find out what they're going for right now on eBay. I nailed that one. Twenty bucks, twenty one ninety nine. God, I'm good. God, I'm so good. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Give myself praise when praise is due. Great card. I have Garrison Griffin again. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oko Thief of the Crowns three drop. Needs some pants. Yeah, probably does. This dude needs a shirt, man. Uh, plus two creative. Are they trying to think like more people are going to get into magic because the dude has his shirt off? I, mean, I don't know. What are your thoughts on shirtless boy here? I mean, look what happened to Jace. Ugh, what an epic fail. That looked like the biggest pansy they ever printed in magic was that Jace. You know who I'm talking about. Old sailor boy. That's right. No wonder why that card sucked. Just saying. They didn't think that one through. <clears throat> Oko. Oko Thief of Crowns. I've seen people running this in modern builds already. I've, I've seen people running this in modern already. I've, see, I've seen it, okay? You can find it. You could find people playing already with these cards. Um... It's great when you get the mana to do it. <laughs> I've seen this one dude get burned out. Uh, who was it? Uh, he's a he's a champion. He's a world champion, but he kept getting burned on his mana. Like he just couldn't get it. Um, but when it when it did work, it worked well, and uh, he ended up winning with it um, in modern. I don't know what's going to do in standard. It looks powerful to me. I'm sure there's ways to abuse this. Um, uh, you know, even outside of Dreadhorde Invasion here. 
that's three colors though is going to be rough i'm telling you it's going to be rough to run three colors and try to pull off this kind of synergy with car with certain lands that are rotating out because the speed is not there anymore the speed it's it, where this upcoming set is going to be slower if you're trying to run three colors mono or two color is where it's at in this meta 100 percent but this could be fun with Steel Overseer, you know, your Dreadhorn Invasion. Just, oh, it's, there's a bunch of shenanigans you could really run with this kind of stuff. There really is. Emberclave. This card's stupid good, man. This spell costs one of us to cast for each attacking creature you control. And then when and there's a battlefield attached to the target creature that you control, equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, has double strike and trample. Equip it to your Chandra Spitfire. Get off me. Dead for like 20 damage. And the damage rolls. Because of Trample. That's nutty, man. Stupid fun. Taste of Death. Each player sacrifice three creatures. Good stuff. Um, it'll be seen in play. I don't think... What's this going for right now? I'm going to say it's going for like $2. All these prices are wrong right now, by the way. All these prices are wrong. Then Cyan, though, of Urza. Or not Cyan of Urza. Um, the Royal Scion, that's going to stay. <laughs> don't, <laughs> whatever you kids do, don't go on eBay right now and Google Taste of Death. Whatever you kids do, just don't do that and don't look at the very first thing that pops up. <laughs> just, just don't do that, all right? If you're watching this right now, don't go on eBay at this very moment and Google's, or, and don't go on eBay and in the search field, type in Taste of Death and look at the first thing that pops up. Do not do that if you're a kid. Okay. Taste of Death. Each player sacrifices three creatures. You create three food tokens. We're going to find out what it does. I'm not really too sure. It's six is a pretty steep casting cost, man. We'll see what happens there. Love Struck Beast plus J. Hey, there you got Britain. Britain really is sticking up for Love Struck Beasts. That's the second time he's defended them. That's the second time. Second time. Second line of defense there. When Chittering Witch enters the battlefield, create a number of 1 1 black rat creature tokens equal to the number of opponents you have. <laughs> Brent, yeah, do not. <laughs> Uh, for deuce, sacrifice a creature. Target creature gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. Um, not sure what it's going to do. I mean, I think outside of standard, I think it's going to be fun in some other kind of brujas that are running rat creatures. Uh, commander p players are going to like this, but not really sure what else is going on there. Jessica, anyone else planning on using candy or something for your food tokens? Or is it just me? That's a good idea, Jessica. It's a good idea. It's not a combo. I like calling two cards of anything a combo. It gets the people all wound up. <laughs> Tribal rats for the win. Then you got Oko, the skadoosh bag, one of my favorites. Six drop. Put two plus one plus one counters on up to one target creature you control. Until end of turn, Oko becomes a copy of creature you control. Prevent all damage that will be dealt to him this turn. And then minus seven. It's really fun. Until end of turn, each creature you control has base power and toughness 10 10 and gains trample. Way to end the game. I'm going to use and abuse this, man, uh, with some proliferate. And um, we're just going to take it to Pound Town. It's, it's that simple, man. It's that simple. Adventure token, cool stuff. Cunning rogue, no one cares. Mace of Valiant, 3-drop. An equipped creature gets plus 1, plus 1 for each charge counter on Mace of the Valiant and his Vigilance. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, put out a charge counter on Mace of Vigilant. It's not amazing. It's it's just, you're, it's decent. I'll say that. It's just a decent card. It will see a little bit of play. Beanstalk Giant. I talked crap about him at first. I now think he's not too bad. I think we could do some things with him. I like the ramp. If you're going mono green... You're probably going to want some of this in your deck. I mean, this thing's pretty sweet. Nice payoff. It doesn't do anything, though, after the fact. I mean, you're going to be running Nissa if you're playing this also. I mean, it's going to be a fun little build. We'll see. Beanstalk Giant, maybe. Brimstone Tribuchet, uh, Defender in Reach. Deals one damage each opponent. Whenever a knight enters the battlefield under your control, untap Brimstone Tribuchet. 
That's, I love the flavor on it. I really do. I think it should have been a two drop, though. I don't think it should have been a three. Two drop, it's playable. Three drop, no thanks. Blow your house down. Three drop. Up to three target creatures. Can't block this turn. Destroy any of them that are walls. That's pretty powerful, man. Especially with that card um, that we just revealed, the 2-2 two, two Haste guy, where when he attacks the rogue, he's a mythic. Think about that would blow your house down, man. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Jousting Dummy. I just don't like this card. I just can't stand this card. I, don't, I just don't like it. Enchanting Carriage. Some white mouse creature tokens. They should have been rats. Return to Nature. Mm-hmm. Good old reprint. Wildwood Tracker. First time we've seen this. Not really that great. It's an elf warrior. If you control another non-human creature, Wildwood Tracker gets plus one, plus one, plus one. Turn. It's, it's just... It, I guess the one one becomes a two-two. Uh, Ashiok Dream Renderer with Wishclaw Tallyman. This card is really good. Especially with Bounce. Someone mentioned this earlier. I didn't even think about bouncing it. But yeah, you bounce this back to your hand. Play it again. That's stupid good. Like, that's really, really good. You just bounce it. You use it, and then bounce it. <laughs> you have a Demonic Tutor in Standard. That is ridiculous. Very strong card. Or you can just put, put it out there if you have Ashiok. Then your opponent can't benefit. They can't search up nothing. F them in the A, man. Questing Beast. This card is just so good, bro. So good. This card is so good. Yeah, where are the pigs? I want to know, too. Questing Beast 4-drop. Legendary Creature Beast. Vigilance, Death Touch, Haste. Questing Beast can't be blocked by creatures with power. Two or less. Combat damage. That will be dealt by creatures you control. Can't be prevented. I like that. I like that a lot. I like the Vigilance, Death Touch, and Haste. The Haste is so good. You can't find other 4-drops this good in Magic the Gathering. You just really cannot. You cannot. Whenever Questing Beast deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to target Planeswalker that player controls. Wouldn't that have been cool if this thing was around in standard with Big Tefiri? I, I can't... I, right there. Right there, man. Right there, you know? <sighs> then again, it probably would have got countered. You know, if this thing said it couldn't be countered, busted, like, $50 card. But, unfortunately, it can be countered. I hate blue. They have daddy issues. Hate's a strong word. It's not good to hate. Then we have a Wicked Wolf. There's a battlefield fights up to one target creature you don't control. Sacrifice of food. Put a plus one plus one counter on Wicked Wolf. It gains indestructible until end of turn. Tap it. I like that it gains indestructible. Downside is you got to tap it, though. It's kind of stupid, but I guess you're protecting it, you know. It's something. Not too bad. Need Squirrel's Tribal. We need Squirrel Tribal. This is, this is right. This is right. OP card before, Yes. Wicked Wolf, mm, I mean, if you're going Tribal Wolves, you're going to most likely have at least three of these, maybe four in your build. It would have been cool if they would have made him an Elf Wolf Scout. I guess he's not a wolf, though. But he's got his friend Wolf right here, you know? Whatever. You got Joust and Burning Yard Trainer. And as a battlefield, another target knight you control gets plus two, plus two, and gains trample and haste until end of turn. That's pretty, that's not bad. If it was a four drop, this card would be so amazing. But it's a five drop. I'm not really willing to risk it for the biscuit. All right. But in limited, this is going to be huge. Joust, good card. Choose target creature you control and target creature you don't control. The creature you control gets plus two, plus one until end of turn. It's a knight, then lose. Cre uh, those creatures fight each other. Not bad. Great flavor. Giant killer. Produce, tap target creature. Why can't we get produce, untap target creature? Can we get one of those? Destroy target creature with power four or greater. Yep, that's a great card. Uh, at worst, um, you could sideboard this at worst, and uh, the payoff would be huge, I'm sure. This card's in here because they already know mono green is going to be stupid good. And... Uh, Chop down for three, you're going to take something out. It should have said exile. Exile target creature with power four greater. They could have went that route. I think it's a little watered down. Um, it is an instant, though. Instant speed's not bad. Murderous Rider. Great card. 
Foil Nicole Bolas the Ravenger. Off the top of my head, I'm gonna guess thirty-two bucks. Thirty-two bucks. I'm gonna look it up right now. I guess thirty-two bucks. Forty-five to fifty-five. Wow, more than I thought. I have a foil promo. He went down in price, though. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Joust is good. Yeah, it's not bad. This card's really good. This card is going to be seeing four ofs in every deck. That's running black. If you're running black, especially mono black, you're going to see play sets of Murderous Rider. Destroy target creature, planeswalker you control. I said it. I'll repeat myself. That video already got 30,000 views. I guarantee at least half of you already saw me talk about this card, but Hero's Downfall. Joey Moss said it in the spoiler video before. We're going to see Hero's Downfall reprinted. Oh my God. And then what happened? And then it happened. Murderous Rider came the very next day. Destroy target creature, Planeswalker, you lose two life. Downside is you lose two life. I don't care about the two life loss if I can kill your Planeswalker or your creature. Hooray. Powerful. And then also you can cast your lifelink when Murderous Rider dies. Put it on the bottom of its owner's library. So that's insane because you're going to get this card back when it dies. When this thing dies, you get it back. What's weird is destroy target creature or planeswalker, you, you just get it back. You, 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 can, you continuously get this card back. And the two life lost, if you even block with this thing once, which you probably want to do, you get the lifelink out of it, you gain the two, and then it goes back into your library. It's on the bottom. But you just get something that shuffles your library. Whoopity do. Great card, man. Roska's Contempt Replacement. Absolutely. Great card. Mystical Dispute and Turn into a Pumpkin. I just hate blue. I don't want to talk about these cards. You got daddy issues. <clears throat> First mythic equipment since Godsend back in May of 2014. That was printed in a standard legal set. Thank you. Very, very cool card. We already talked about it, though, a minute ago. Um, the double strike, the trample. It's, it's nuts, man. It's got Dample, guys. You don't mess with Dample, all right? Fairy Guide Mother. Kind of weak sauce, but for one, you got a 1-1. One, one. And also, you can pump something. And it give, it, give it flying. It's pretty cool. Wicked Guardian. I just I don't see this card doing anything. Wicked Guardian is a battlefield. You may have it deal two damage to another creature you control. If you do draw a card. No, you have a toughness of two. I, I think you are the coolest, one of the coolest artworks in the entire set. But this card is atrocious, atrociously bad. Doom Foretold. I don't know what's going to happen with this one. I can't say it enough. So I pulled three major misprint finales. Devastation, Glory, and Eternity. Any idea of the value? Suplex, just send them my way, buddy. I'll have a look. I'll have a look. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool, though. Um, what's the misprint on him? Doom Foretold, 4-drop. Enchantment, beginning of each player's upkeep. That player sacrifices an outland token, an outland permanent. <clears throat> Non-token permanent, sorry. If that player can't, they discard a card. They lose 2 life. You draw a card, you gain 2 life. You create a 2-2 two -two white knight creature token with vigilance. Then you sacrifice Doom Foretold. Lionheart. Homework is very important. Go to your homework, buddy. That You can always watch this after the live stream. or yeah, When the live stream ends, you can always watch it. Do your homework. That's, that's priority one, buddy. Um, at the beginning of each player's upkeep, that play, <laughs> I mean, it's okay. I just don't think it's doing enough. Unless you can bring this thing back and get that ability, those four abilities off it, where you can gain the two life, draw a card, deal the two damage, uh, and create a 2-2 two -two white knight creature token. And have them discard a card. If you can keep bringing it back with something like your Starfield Nyx, you know, that's great. Recursion with this card would be pretty amazing. But without it, I don't know. I just, I don't know, man. I just don't know, guys. I just don't know. Brought back in Gutter Bones. Yeah, those are ways to kind of bring that card back and throw it back on the battlefield. Uh, Enchantment Recursion. Oh, there it is again. We're going backwards here. Which is Vengeance. Great card. Great, great card. 
creatures of the creature, uh, creatures of the creature type of your choice. That just sounds weird. Why'd they word it that way? It's six drop white knight enchantment though. Oh yeah. Creature of the creature type of your choice gets minus three, minus three until end of turn. Tribal, deal with it. You're dead. Uh, there you go. Once upon a time, very good card. Like I said before, you're gonna see if you're running green, you're gonna be having four ofs of this. It's that simple. If you're running mono green, I mean this <laughs> four ofs, easy. I wish they had this card in standard right now because I could make some really nasty green decks with it. Um, and also just think like about um, Lotus Field. You can even tutor up your Lotus Field. You know, you get your Lotus Field faster. And I understand Blood Sun is rotating out. Oh, whoopity doo. You know, but maybe, maybe, maybe there's a way around that. You know, there is. And it's in blue. If you want, you can counter the ability. Uh, and uh, there you have it. Now you know. You just learned something. You can do that. That's true. In blue. And not just Blood Sun. You don't need just Blood Sun to do this kind of crap, man. Pretty interesting stuff. Very good card once upon a time. I'm sure this card's going for like eight bucks a pop already. Probably more than that. Let's find out together. How much is it going for? How much are we talking about? Wow. Twelve bucks. Wow. Foil versions are asking thirty four. You guys are insane. That's, that's a really good card, man. Good night, Mike. Every deck should have a Bob Saget. I agree. <laughs> Every deck should run it, not just green. Well, I mean, you got to be going your creature route, you know. But, yeah. It's a, it's a great card, man. Really good card. Seven bucks, six bucks. I'm seeing 12 bucks right now. Oh, well, that's on eBay. Maybe TCG player might be different. Um, here's all the new spoilers from uh, earlier today. You got the Charming Prince again. Uh, Outlaws, Merriment. Interesting card. Kenrith the Returned King. Very powerful. It's going for 50 bucks already on eBay. Really, really cool. Put a plus and plus one counter on target creature. Target creature. Uh, target player gains five life. Target player draws a card. Just redonkulous. This is your buy box promo. All creatures gain trample and hasten to one of turns. A 5-5 five, five for 5. Nasty mythic right there. Worthy Knight. Another really good card. Whenever you cast a Knight spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. Deuce, deuce. Deuce to bring out. Pretty good. Claim the Firstborn. Great. And the Hypnotic Sprite. Both great uncommons, in my opinion. Uh, both are going to see a lot of play. Then we have uh, Robing Keep. Not sure what this is going to do, but it could do something. Who knows what? Uh, okay, my ranger. This card's interesting. Go eat it. Eat it. Eat it. No one wants to be defeated. Hee <laughs> uh, Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card in that player's hand and or graveyard. I'm sorry, hand or graveyard and exile it. You may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. And you may spend mana as though or mana of any color to cast that spell. God, I hate Demir so much. And this card's going to put Demir just right back on the map. Not like it went anywhere. It kind of went somewhere, but... It's just right back, man. It's right freaking back. Ah, I hate Demir. Ah, Feasting Troll King. Huge monster. Six drop. Vigilance Trample. And it's a battlefield. If you cast it from your hand, create three food tokens. Hooray. Sacrifice three food tokens. Feasting Troll King from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate ability only during your turn. Very nasty. Very good stuff. Uh, we're going mono green. It's going to see a lot of play, man. Lockmere Serpent. Sacrifice an island. Lockmere Serpent can't be blocked this turn. Sacrifice a swamp. You get, I love that it can't be blocked. Demir. Oh, God, Demir. Oh, God, Demir. I hate dealing with Demir decks. Can you please stop printing good cards in Demir? It's a 7-7, seven, seven, and it can't be blocked. Get out of here. And it has Flash. This card is going to close out matches, man. This card. Oh, I just licked my eye. This card is going to close out matches. And in limited, it is a nasty bomb and that's just going to win you the darn game. Period. End of story. Changed my mind. Clackbridge Troll. Very interesting card. A lot of hype around it, man. A lot of hype around this one. No Gingerbread Man yet. I'm still waiting on him. Is Gingerbread Man going to be a Planeswalker? I don't know. I don't know. 
Clack Bridge Troll. Trample and haste when Clack Bridge Troll enters the battlefield. Target opponent creates three zero white goat creature tokens. At the beginning of combat on your turn, any opponent may sacrifice a creature. If a player does, tap Clack Bridge Troll. You gain three life and you draw a card. Whole thing is here. Um, we have to find a way to make it deal the damage. Otherwise, you're playing a card and not doing anything with it, which is really crappy. So Skadoosh. you either want to be able to. Oh, Joseph Dustin, thank you for being coming a member, my friend. You thank you very much. That's awesome. Members get reward. Hooray! I gotta give shout out next month or this month for you guys. I must do this. Um, thank you, jo uh, Joseph. Appreciate that. Rally of Wings. You can untap it with Rally of Wings. All right. You can cry of the Carnarium. All of his goat tokens off there. And I'm sure he has other creatures, because, you know, I don't know what kind of crazy world this is, but the one we're living in, uh, I'd say 90% of decks have creatures in them. It's a pretty high percentage, my friend. Pretty high percentage. So, interesting card. Something like cry of the Carnarium to wipe out their goat tokens, whatever. Then we have uh, the Ethereal Absolution, another way you can deal with this. It's really slow, though, but the payoff's huge. The payoff would be really big. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Creatures your opponents control get minus one, minus one. This card is... Do not underestimate the power of this card. That swing of power of your creatures and their creatures. Oh, Corbin Potter, man. Thanks for the subscribe, man. That's a, oh, 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 yep, yep. That subscribe is a good, good thing. Thank you. Thank you. I thought it was a member. I'll take the subscribe, too. Uh, creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Creatures your opponents control get minus one, minus one. And then exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. If it was a creature card, you create a 1-1 one, one white and black spirit creature token with flying. It's one way to clear out their goat tokens. They just instantly die, and then now you have a 9-9 nine, nine haste out with trample. That's pretty ridiculous, man. But, again, this is a slow thing. I mean, you can't really ramp up too fast. Maybe in uh, some whacked-out sack outlet deck or something that you can ramp into that using, uh, what's her name, uh, Priest of Forgotten Gods, maybe to ramp into Ethereal Absolution and then play your Clackbridge Troll a turn after. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Something like that. It'd be a really funky build, but it could be done. Uh, just something to think about, though. Then you got Robber of the Rich. It's Robin Hood, guys. It's Robin Hood. It's basically Robin Hood. Um, yeah, Robber of the Rich. Human Archer Rogue. It's got the Reach, it's got the Haste. Whenever Robber of the Rich attacks, if defending player has more cards in hand than you, you're running mono red, or red at least you're probably going to have fewer cards than your opponent in your hand. Exile the top card of their library. During any turn you attacked with a rogue, you may cast that card, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast that spell. There are, like, six other rogues currently in standard right now. I, that, I might be a little low on that one. I think there's six or seven. And there, there's some pretty darn good ones though, that are in standard right now. So, something to consider. This is a really, really cool card. And then we have uh, Wildborn Preserver, Creature Elf, Archer, Merfolk, Tricksters, Rotating Out. It's got Flash, it's got Reach, whenever another non-human creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay X. When you do, put X plus we'll some counters and Wildborn Preserver. Pretty legit sauce, man. Pretty legit sauce. There would be an actual Gingerbread Man card in the set, and I'm curious. Yeah, there should be. I, I, I'm 100,000 billion percent. There's going to be one. There will be one. Why do you hit the mirror so bad? Is it fault, Aresha? Did you get hit with it too much? It does suck to get hit by it. Satisfying to hit others with it, though. Will K. Yes, Will. God, it's, arena's broken every time. Thought Erasure turn two. Tell me a time you went up against a mirror and your opponent on turn two did not drop a Thought Erasure. Tell me of a time. I'll give you a cookie. Unbelievable. And then we have uh, Emery Lurker. The spell costs one less to cast for each artifact you control. When Emery Lurker of the Luck enters the battlefield, put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard. Choose target artifact card in your graveyard. You may cast that card this turn to one two. Powerful. Powerful Merfolk Wizard right there, my friends. 30 rogues, 4 are rotating. There's 30 rogues. Well, there's like 6 good rogues. 
There's about six powerful rogues currently in standard. Tell me what their names are, Rivers today. Tell me their names. Ever been a deck with primevals, glorious rebirth? Yeah, but it's just so darn slow, man. It is so darn slow, brother. So darn slow. All right, those are the spoilers. I have to get into patron stuff. Patrons, it's time to give stuff away to my patrons. It's a patron party up in here. here. It's a patron party up in here. here. Umbrella, ma. Umbrella, ma. I'm a really weird person. Um, Ooh, I have an Azuri Renegade. It's pretty cool. Semblance. I don't even know what these cards are worth. Hand of the Praetor. I gotta do some price checks on some of these things, man. Pretty nutty sauce. There we go. Alrighty. Let's do this, my friends. Let's do this, Brutus. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you want to become a patron, by all means, go ahead and check out the patron links in the description of the video. It does help a lot. This is just a perk. It's not even in the patron thing. You wouldn't know about it uh, unless you're in this live stream and you're a patron. I think a lot of my patrons do know about this. But I just randomly give out some free stuff to patrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine... 10. Um, anyway, there we go. Let's do it like that. Alrighty. Let's kick things off, shall we? Alright. For my patrons. For my patrons, dears. Look, I'm at the bottom of the screen. Oh. Alrighty then. Okay. Let me scroll this over here. It's been a long live stream. Very close to 100,000. I, I, first off, I just want to thank anyone who's watching right now. Like, this is sincere. Um, we're almost at 100,000 subscribers, guys. And thank you. Um, the likes, the comments, the shares, you guys interacting, my patrons, uh, the Twitch, uh, people that are members here. I mean, just all the support. I, again, I could not have done any of this without you guys. I, I cannot believe the things I've been able to accomplish um, over the past three years. It has been an amazing, amazing ride, and I feel uh, very thankful, and I'm very grateful to, you know, I got almost 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. That's pretty cool, man. That's really cool. So thank you. And it's because of you guys to, who watch and, you know, enjoy the content. Sometimes we're crazy and wacky. Sometimes we rage quit on Twitch, you know. Uh, sometimes I might get really nuts and destroy something, but uh, you guys have stuck with me, you know. And uh, it means a lot to me. So I'll thank you very much. Um, couldn't have done it without you. So thank you. Thank you. You guys give yourselves a little pat on the back because we are almost at 100K. Phenomenal. Thank you very much, guys. L L heart, for, heart for love. Heart for love. <laughs> sunglasses. <laughs> I love these sunglasses, man. These sunglasses are so dope. <laughs> they were cheap, too. They're only like, I think I bought them for eight bucks or something like that. It was like eight, maybe seven, eight bucks, something like that. It was maybe five bucks. I don't remember where I got them, but they're pretty dope. I do like them. I do like them. They add like a little flavor. You know, I got to flavor up things. Got to mix things up a bit, you know? <laughs> Axe the Black Lotus. You guys remember that? Axe the Lotus. <laughs> All right. You're the only one who is annoying. I'm surprised I'm not annoying. I, I If I listen to myself talk too much, like, I get annoyed. <laughs> I, I get really, really annoyed. 
I annoy the crap out of Sabrina, by the way. Like, she gets really collector's packs, get the axe at 100k. Okay, we could do that. We can axe the collector's pack. Um, maybe put it through a buzzsaw or something. But, uh, <laughs> Sabrina really gets the worst of the, the worst end of the deal. All right, um, let's do this. Let's do this, Brutus. All right, shall we? Um, I think I gotta pull this down a tiny bit. Oop, too much. There we go. Okay. So, here are all the patrons. Currently, Elliot Lesser, Robert Cobb, Richard Britton. All of these guys right here, man. I, I mean, everyone, really. But, I mean, Elliot Lesser has... I think he was my... If not my first patron, my, like, one of the first, like, three. That's amazing. Like, my life was completely different when he became a patron. I mean, same, even Robert Cobb and Richard. I mean, these, these, these guys have been with me for a long time. A very long time. I mean, a lot of these people have, you know. I'm not going to be able to give everyone a lot of praise. But Elliot Lesser, that one really stands out because he's been with me just so dang long. I think he was the first or second one to become a patron. And he has not left. So, big shout out to Elliot and uh, everyone else. Robert Cobb as well. He's been there for a while. Richard, Andrew, Von Bank, Zikowski. I can't go over it enough. Um, if you guys want to become a patron, by all means, check out the link in the description. It's like right there. And um, for the price of a Happy Meal, you can help me afford diapers. How about <laughs> uh, just thank you to everyone. Um, Liz has been with me for a while. Zach's been with me for a while. Jester. I mean, I can just, Spencer McLaughlin, he was probably one of the first 20, I think. Phenomenal, man. Tristan's been there for a while. Um, I can't give enough praise. A lot of people are awesome. If I don't say your name right now, don't feel slighted. Like, it, there's just, it's, it's crazy. Patrick Dunn, he's been there for a fat minute. Um, Stephen Jennings, I mean, if, if you think, I think Stephen Jennings is a little newer, if I'm not mistaken. No, he's been with me for a little bit, too. Just uh, really, really cool. Yuri has been there for a while. Wood Dog. I mean, so many people. It's ridiculous, man. Um, these are all people who support the channel and uh, and make it what it is. Um, without their support, without patrons, I, there, there's no way to lie about this. I would have to get a full time job. I, I'm not. I, I worked my butt off my life. I earned where I'm at right now by busting my ass. I'm just saying. When I when I started Bad Boy Gaming, um, I was working full time in cemeteries. I was I was doing uh, engraving on uh, on uh, on tombstones, you know, and then delivering them to the cemetery, you know. Um, I was a truck driver before that, um, truck driver while I was there, you know, and I was also doing bad boy gaming i was pushing it out there was i'd say i was putting in like 80 hour work weeks there was a lot of sacrifice that went into this channel i was staying up all night promoting myself everywhere i could i was thinking of you know creative ways to entertain people you know instead of just here's a booster box of magic cards because that's what i saw on ebay or that's what it's not on ebay that's what i saw on youtube when i first arrived i saw Nothing but um, just really bland, boring openings. And I'm like, this is nauseating to watch. Like, this is just so friggin' boring. How, how do they even have this many views? Like, how do they have these many subscribers? I'm like, oh my God, let me, let me, let me go on there and let me open a box, you know? And uh, it just took off, man. It just started taking off, you know, but... There was not a single day that went by in the first six months, the first year, but the advertising, the first six months, every day I was advertising. But the first year, not a day went by, man, where I wasn't working 80 hours a week and so many sleepless nights. I mean, I put there was a lot of time, a lot of energy um, put into this channel. There was there were some some days. I drove myself crazy and I stayed up for three nights or three days, you know, and I didn't sleep. That happened on more than one occasion. There were nights I didn't sleep because I was up all night promoting my channel and trying to, you know, spread the word, getting blocked from all types of forums and, and websites. And, uh, 
just, I mean, everything, you know, I, I was hearing people like just cuss me out, making death threats, people saying they want to stab me. And, <laughs> and I'm like, I just want to have fun and play magic, you know. Uh, it, it, I've come a very long way, man. I've come a very, very long way. So thank you so much, guys, uh, for being for being here with me through all of it. Um, I was able to finally walk away about a year ago from full-time employment. If it was not for patrons, I could not put in this many hours into magic. I could not be bringing you spoilers. I could not be doing, I, I would not be one of the first to drop a spoiler video when something new hits. When, when I'm always the one first because I'm able to do that because I was able to walk away from my full-time job because of my patrons. So, I mean, they, they are the backbone of this channel. You know, the ad revenue is great, but this, this helps tremendously. So thank you to every single one of these patrons who are on this list. Your continued, uh, continuous monthly support allows for bad boy gaming to to bring you what i bring you to to sit around and build deck techs for hours you know um to, just to figure stuff out because i tell you one thing i could not do this working 40 hours like i was that's why the channel was mostly just box openings in the beginning it was easy just to open up a box put it on the internet what would he do that was simple but now the channel's evolved we're doing more with like decks we're doing more with spoiler videos, you know, better equipment, like just everything's just changed. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the change. But do get ready for a lot of box openings. <laughs> when Throne of Drain drops, we're going to be opening like 8, 10, 12 boxes or something like that, uh, including collector boxes. So, yeah, <laughs> box openings haven't gone nowhere. So thank you, everybody. All right, that all being said, all right, let's, uh, let's get to cracking, Captain. I'm going to shuffle up. Shuffle up, I guess. Here we go. Um, first things first. This is just to show my thanks. That's that's all this is. It's it's not required of me to do this on Patreon. Nowhere does it mention anything about this. So this is just like a show of appreciation. All right. And I do it every month. Every month. I give away like about 150 bucks worth of cards. Roughly like 100 to 150. Um, when I have more patrons, like it get, it increases. But... Recently, I lost like 30 patrons over the past few months. And I'm sure people just fell in hard times or something. Um, it happens, though. Or maybe they just don't like me anymore. I don't know. But anyway, Gideon. Let me blow this up. I'll make myself a little bigger for you guys. Yeah, we're a tiny bit bigger. Okay. All right, guys, here we go. Bam! Gideon, ally of Zendikar. It's a foil on top of that. It is a foil, baby. It is a foil. And it's in mint condition. Front to back, baby. Get a load of that. I'm going to shuffle it one time. Whoever gets it, gets it. Boosh! Damn, Jan Kapar. I got a feeling this one's getting shipped over the uh, overseas. And this is also... I do um, shipping overseas, so that's another thing. If you're ever were interested in becoming a patron, it's overseas shipping as well, man. It is overseas shipping as well. Damn, Jen. There you go, brother. Got yourself a Gideon Alien and Zendikar, my little friend. Uh, just got to write this down. Damn, Jen. Colon Rat, brother. Sweet little card there. Sweet, sweet little card. Bada bing. Later, Ryan. Thanks for tuning in, brother. Next we have... Oh, I got to get him off the list. So, Damn Jan's off the list. If you guys are here for the spoilers, I just finished them. I'll go over them one more time after this, briefly. And that's going to be that. Like, then I'm done with it. Um, let's see. Take this off. Another one batch the dearest. And he's gone. All right, and then we shuffle again. This is for a foil ball lightning from that one set. I can't remember what it's called. Um, I don't remember the name of the set. Fire and Ice, maybe? Was it Fire and Ice? Something like that. Ball lightning. Who's taking it? Boosh! Marcus Rutledge. Marcus Rutledge getting the foil ball lightning. Pretty legit. 
I got a feeling it's going to be seeing a bit more play now. Just a tiny bit. There you go, homie. Legit sauce. Taking him off the list. Boosh. Yeah, I could not have done any of this without the support of patrons. There's just, there's just no chance in hell. Um, period. End of story. Um, shuffle it up. This is for a foil. Master of the Waves. Which I also expect to slightly go up in price to. It is a foil, baby. Boosh. Ronald the Petro. There you go, man. Ronald the Petro. The Petro. Boosh. Legit. I am Marcus. Yeah, congratulations, Insane. Insane in the membrane. Richard Garfield. Oh, my God. Richard Gar... You're the real Richard Garfield? Are you serious? Oh, my God. That is super amazeballs. It really is. Ronald DePetro is gone. Boosh. And if anyone's wondering why some people have multiple name entries, they're just in higher tiers. That's that's why they have multiple name entries. Deputy of Detention. Promo. Coming at you, baby. Too bad this camera sucks. And James is my daddy. Randy, you silly. All right, here we go. Um, Who was that we just knocked out? Uh, Ronald? I took him out already, correct? I believe so. Yep, he is gone. For a foil promo, Deputy of Detention. Brian Stanley. He's been with me for a fat minute also. Brian Stanley. There you go. Skadink, skadink, skadoosh. Legit sauce. That is out of here. Whoops. And then I'll do a subscriber giveaway also. I got one more thing. Um, that rally is it, is it Viceroy, baby, baby. Um, she's gone. Boosh. She told me, yeah, Richard Garfield. If you are the real Richard Garfield, you need to donate a hundred thousand dollars to me right now. Right now, bro. Right now. All right. Here we go. Let's do... Um, this is for a breeding pool. A breeding pool. Shockland in all of its glory sauce. Non-foil version. Non-foil version. Who's going to get this one? Did I get Brian Stanley out of there? I'm just going to double check because I've been all over the place. Yeah, okay. He's gone. Breeding pool. Shuffle it. Oosh. Brian Coon. Coon dog. Coon Dog taking it to Pantown. That's a nice breeding pool, Mr. Coon. Coon's been with me for a fat minute. Fat minute. My package for you soon. All right, Richard Garfield, I'm kidding. 100 bucks will do. 100 bucks will do. We'll take that. 100 bucks will do. <laughs> if you're the real Richard Garfield. <laughs> Brian Coon, he's gone. Sweet little breeding pool. Bam! Fatal push. Foil. Foil fatal push. Foil. Fatal push. I'll send the money right back. You got it, man. You got it. I don't know why I was typing in fatal push. Okay, we got to shuffle this. Boosh! Preston. Preston just signed up with me recently. Preston. I've been having a few chats with him in uh, Patreon Messenger here and there. Good times. Preston, congrats if you're watching, partner. There you go. Preston is off the... There he is. He is off the mark. It. Goodbye, sir. All right. Next up. Chalet promo. Voice of plenty. Indeed, we do. Indeed, we do. Richard Garfield must be Rudy. Probably is. All right. Um, did I take him off? Preston, yes, he's gone. Okay. Boosh! Brian Taft. I've seen a lot of new names this one. That's really cool. That is really cool. Some old names, too. 
but this is like uh, I think the third newer person like within the past few months pretty sweet very cool there you go very legit sauce Brian Taft off you go sonny boy there he is there you go what was that J there for I don't know something happened there maybe I forgot okay whoops you doodle not sure something went on there Richard Garfield. Wait. Oh my God. Richard Garfield donated $100,000. Ha. Huh. I'll be damned. I sent you a fresh fish two and a half months ago. Rip fish. What fish? What are you talking about, fish? What are you talking about? Must be a Brian Brian giveaway. A lot of Brian's are winning, yeah. All right. Brian Taft is out of here. Just triple checking because that's what I do. All right, he's gone. Boom! Foil groundbreaker. Foil groundbreaker. Do you have any idea how much a foil groundbreaker from this set is worth? Do you? Shuffle it up. Boosh! James Nimigin, my ninja. I always wonder if I pronounce his name right. There you go, brother. He's been with me for quite some time as well. There you go, man. Foil. Groundbreaker. JM is a patron. Yep. His name is very similar to mine. And that's his name. He just has JM on there. Uh, James is gone. I think his name's Joe also. But he goes by JM. I can't give any more information out. Obviously, he doesn't want me to give his information out. So, uh, there we go. Next. Bam! A Johnny Goldmane. In all of its glory, baby. In all of its glory. Bow. What fish? Oh, JM was a person. Oh, my God. It was that short. Okay. Okay, um, for that, okay, that was a mistake. For that, I'm just going to try to make up for it right now, and I'm going to put his name in. Uh, he missed three times. So he gets three entries. There you go. That should make up for it. Um, where's the one that just went around? Brian Taft's gone. Okay. James Nimigin is off and out of the races. Did I take out James? Sometimes I do too much and I forget. Yeah, he's out. Okay. So here goes the uh, Johnny. I think I, yeah, I didn't mean to delete it. Like I, I didn't mean to delete it. So I just included him three times in the bottom there. It make it makes up for it. It makes up for it. All right, let me, I'll do it. Well, hold on. I'll put his name in one more time. Four entries because of that mistake. I think that's fair. I think everyone would agree if they got booted, they would want some entries too. All right. Uh, Johnny, who's taking it home? Boosh! Andrew Campos. Congratulations. Andrew Campos. He's been with me for a while now too. All right. Nicole Bolas, the Ravenger. Bam! There you go. Nicole Bolas, the Ravenger. Who is going to take it on? Campos is gone. Poosh. All right, here we go. Nicole Bolas is the Ravenger. All right, running it right now. Poosh! Nicholas Petty. Nicholas Patty. Legit. <coughs> and because of that mistake, I'm going to do one more. Um, let's see. Something Dees.
we shall do a waste knot. A waste knot. A waste knot. Who is going to take it? This is from M15. Waste knot, baby. JM needs something nice. It's rigged. Shut up. All right, here we go. You know how many times I've heard it's rigged every time I do anything on this channel? Like, every single time. It's rigged. It's rigged. Everything's rigged. Joey's rigged. This whole channel's fake. His repacks are garbage. He just, he gets paid a thousand dollars. Rudy told me when he sold me a floppy taco and put it in my ear. All right. Are we ready? Waste not. Let's shuffle it up, baby. Boosh! Adam Thorman. There you have it. Congrats, Adam Thorman. Adam Thorman. Congratulations. All right. That is the whole kit and caboodle. Randy Bond. I've never won, so yes, it's rigged. <laughs> Randy. There's 95 patrons. I pick on average between 9 upwards to 15 people every month. Uh, it's the luck of the dice, man. It's the luck of the dice, brother. But just know you being a patron is going a long way and helps out a lot. So thank you. All right, that's the whole kit and caboodle. It's Joey Moss. That's the whole kit and caboodle. Um, let's exit out of here and flop over here. Whoopsie doodle. Wrong screen, player. Wrong screen. Mm-hmm. Right, go with it. One more look at those spoilers for everyone. Uh, one more quick look. We have fun. Okay, one more last look -a I swallowed that one. I did. Kept it in there. All right, here we go. <clears throat> um, this spell costs one of us to cast for each artifact you uh, each artifact you control put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard I'm not an alien choose target artifact card in your graveyard you may cast that card this turn powerful card not too bad um, wildborn preserver I just hate blue so I don't really talk about the blue cards too much <laughs> Nick Shore Shore I will get her to sign it I'm sure she she's very flattered to do so um pause not as much as I used to I really really cut back uh Wildborn Preserver is pretty legit though yeah with the flash the reach and then whatever another non-token or non-human creature enters the battlefield to your control you may pay X and you can pay X uh, when you do, put X plus one plus one counters on Wildborn Preserver. Legit sauce, man. Very legit. Um, it's going to take over uh, the Trickster here, basically. It's replacing it. Then we have Robber of the Rich. Foil is going to be awesome. You bet your bottoms. Foil, oh, I'm sorry, Robber of the Rich. The Reach, the Haste. This is going to be a very powerful card. Um, this card essentially... Is like uh, it's like Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. You know, that's what he does. It's a good card. It's needed in, in good old standard for sure. Uh, Clack Bridge Troll, great to go at Ethereal Absolution. Trample Haste enters the battlefield. Target opponent creates three zero one white goat creature tokens. At the beginning of combat of your turn, and you put him in sacrifice a creature. That player does tap Clack Bridge Troll. You gain three life. And you draw a card. Pretty legit. A great way to maybe cheat this, uh, you know, cheat its uh, awesome powerfulness. Use a Cry of Carnarium to board wipe, you know, have a sing hit or a Rally of Wings or your Ethereal Absolution uh, late game and have maybe just a big sack strategy where you're just board wiping your opponent and uh, destroying his creatures. Uh, and then you just drop your Clackbridge Troll near late game, you know, you run a play set of them and you just take them to Bound Down. Great way to stand shape. There you go. Uh, Lockmere Serpent and Demir. The Flash, Sacrifice an Island, Lockmere Serpent, can't be blocked this turn. Very, very, very good stuff there. Goodbye, Nick. Adios, my friend. Adios. 
Uh, sacrifice a swamp, you gain one life, and you draw a card. Exile five target cards from an opponent's graveyard. Return to Locking Mirror Serpent. This card's really good. Really, really powerful. I think it's really powerful. Uh, definitely a closer for Demir. It, the flash is just phenomenal on it. Uh, I think it's a good card. Making it unblockable? Stupid. Feasting Troll King. This is probably one of my favorite arts. I wish I could, we had better quality images, a higher resolution right now, but we simply do not. But uh, I'm really pumped. I want this Masterpiece version of him so bad. I hope I pull him out of a pack. Make sure you guys all tune in for that. Uh, Vigilance Trample. When Feasting Troll, King enters the battlefield. If you cast it from your hand, create three free tokens. Sacrifice three foods. Return Feasting Troll King from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate his ability only during your turn. Very powerful, man. Roll a real D20 and send JM that card, my ninja. Which one? Roll a real d20 and send JM that card, my ninja. Which card? I live in the show me state of misery. Skadoosh. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate that. I don't know which card you're talking about. Um, send him this. I don't. Even, it, it, it's not even out yet. Are you mad? I want to thank you, Joey. You opened up a whole other dimension to the way I build decks. People I play hate me, and I love it. Eric. Glad I can help out, my friend. Good night, Brent. Appreciate you, Brent. My first live stream with Joey. Great YouTuber. Well, thanks, Chad. Thank you very much. I'm just jerking your chain. Uh, wake up, Sudi. Smell the smell and salt. Uh, Vigilance Trample. Uh, really cool card. Um, the whole food token thing. I'm not sure how strong these food tokens are going to be, but it's looking like it could gear up to be something pretty nasty. We will see in time, my friends. In time. Eat it. Just eat it. No one wants to be defeated. Eat it is a four drop. Sorcery. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a nine land card in that player's hand or graveyard and exile it. If, uh, I'm sorry, you may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. And you may spend mana, though, or mana of any color to cast that spell. Probably one of the best uncommons in Throne. Have a good look, boys. Have a good look. I'm in Cleveland. Where are you guys from? Evolving Wild. Best card ever, man. Uh, Oakham Ranger. Four drop hybrid. Put out 20 cards at random and roll. Put out 20 cards at random and roll. That's a lot of that's a lot of work. I will send I, okay. I will send JM something because I deleted him for those three. I thought I made up for it by putting in the four. <laughs> Wake up, little Susie. It's time to smell the smell and <laughs> all. We have fun. We have fun. We have fun. Um, Skadoosh. I, I'll, I'll send him something, man. I'll, I will send JM something. I will tell you that. Uh, I'll, I will send him out a little something. That way, my patrons don't don't crucify me. <laughs> Alrighty then. Yeah, I, I think the funnest thing. And I, I, okay, I never talk about it. This is a live stream, and we're like four hours into it. So the odds of people seeing this, you know, is is really slim. The Evolving Wilds is the funnest way to troll my audience, especially the unexpected people, or the unsuspecting like person. I think it's hilarious. Um, I, I said it in one of my biggest MTG Arena videos. It's like 360,000 views. And uh, I dropped it in there. And man, it's like every few days I hear someone say like, you know, Evolving Wilds got printed like 20 times, man. God, is he serious about Evolving Wilds? How does this guy play Magic the Gathering and not know Evolving Wilds has been printed 20 times? Evolving Wilds is a 15 cent card. This Joey Moss guy's a blabbery idiot. God, he's so stupid. God. And I just, I just sit there and I just laugh, man. I just laugh my butt off. I just laugh my butt off. It's seriously so funny to me. So funny. Um, Oklahoma Ranger is a pretty good card as well. And it's a great by the shape. Then we have Shambling Suit. Shambling Suit, sorry. And Roving Keep. Um, I'm really curious to see if this card does much. It's a 5-7 Defender. And it gets plus 2 plus 2 and gets trampled on a turn. It can attack this turn as though it didn't have Defender. 
That's 14. You're paying 14. I love the art on it, though. This thing's like its own city. Like, it's freaking huge, man. Really, really cool. Uh, these are probably two of the best uncommons in the set. Not the best, but they're up there. Uh, Claim the Firstborn and Hypnotic Spalright are both very, very good cards. Uh, every has to spam Evolving Wild. Yeah, yeah, definitely spam the Evolving Wild stuff, man. It, it never gets old. It never gets old. That's how long uh, of a delay you guys have right now. I just started seeing your comments about it. <laughs> um, really cool cards right here. Definitely both very powerful. Uh, Worthy Knight. Whenever you cast a Knight spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token to deuce deuce. Very, very strong card. Very powerful. Um, not really, not very strong, but it's very good. It, I think it's it, it's kind of like that other card. That um, anytime a multicolored spell is cast, you put a 1-1 one, one, uh, token on the battlefield. Similar to that, if you can put a play set of those cards and a play set of these Worthy Knights into a deck... If we get enough multicolored knights, you're going to have some Heaven's Bakery you're cooking up on your hands, my friends. If that happens. If that happens. Randy. If that happens. Um, it could be pretty nasty. Kenrith the Returned King. Probably one of the top five best cards printed in the entire set. And it's to buy a box promo. Currently going for 40 to 50 bucks. Really, really cool. All creatures gain trample and hasten to end of turn. It's deuce. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. And then for three, target player gain five life. Target player draws a card. Put target creature card from a graveyard of the battlefield to owner's control. It's a 5 5. Definitely a support lord for your commander brews. Uh, yeah. Notice it says target player. That's insane, man. You want to keep someone alive? Here's five life. But for Brawl, it's really going to suck because uh, you can't play four player. Brawl. You, you just can't, I mean, you just can't play four player Brawl on Arena. Stupid. Anyway, moving forward. And it's great. We have CJ. All right, then we have Outlaws, Merry Men. That's right. At the beginning of your upkeep, really weird card. Mythic, four drop, Boros. Choose one at random. Why do they say choose one at random? Choose one at random. How is it random if I'm choosing? All right. Create a red and white creature token with those characteristics. 3-1 human warrior with trample and haste. 2-1 human cleric with lifelink and haste. 1-2 human rogue with haste. And when this creature enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to any target. And it's great. Right then we have Charming Prince. Charming Prince over here is the last of the uh, Eldrazi's. He is an Eldrazi, and he's a really, really powerful Eldrazi. As you can see, all the women are getting drowsy looking at him. <laughs> um, he He's every woman's dream, every man's dream as well, I'm sure, in some cases. Nothing wrong with that. And uh, he scries too. You gain three life. X out another target creature to flicker this up your butt. Um, really, really impressive stuff with Charming Prince. Completely not a knockoff of Prince Charming. No, let's not get carried away, guys. There's no way. There's no way. Uh, Weaselback, Red Cap, and Searing Barrage. Searing Barrage is a terrible card. Um, it's going to be good and limited, and that's it. Weaselback, Red Cap. Probably might see a little bit of play. Maybe just might be a little bit of something we want to put in decks. But, you know, it'd be great if you did just take one moment... And hit the subscribe button down there at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel for absolutely free. Now, Weasel... Okay, uh, Weasel Bag Red Cap. I don't know what it's going to do. It's a one-drop, though. Pretty interesting. Uh, Sire Kara the Bold and Skullknocker Ogre. These cards are both pathetically bad. They're, they're, they're terrible. They're terrible. But someone did make a good point. With this card. Whenever Skullknocker Ogre deals damage to an opponent, that player discards a card at random. If the player does, they draw a card. Some people may want to take the damage to do that. So it's kind of a good, it's kind of a cool card. I, I, kind of. Kind, kind of. Kind of a cool, kind of. I'm not giving it too much credit. It's kind of a cool card. Then we have Sarah the Bold. Which is just a dumpster fire. Do not play that. All right? You're, you're a bad magic player if you play the Bold. 
stop it. That's it. That's all the new ones. Um, that's all she wrote, guys. I will do the final giveaway. Ral, is it Viceroy, baby? Who is going to take this puppy home with them? Who is going to take this puppy home? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's find out together. <laughs> Aiden over here. Uh, all right, here we go. If if you've been in the live stream the whole time, you will know this. What game, not magic, did I play with a friend earlier today? I mentioned it in the very beginning of the live stream. There was something I did, some, uh, something I played. What was it? What game was it? Whoever gets that right is going to get the rally of the Viceroy. It's a game. Good luck. I'll take care of JM other ways. <clears throat> I'm going to take care of JM. Calm down, guys. <laughs> Luke Whip. <laughs> 719. <laughs> Cornhole. Steve Jones got it. Cornhole. That is correct, man. Steve Jones, you're getting it, bro. Aiden, you just missed it, brother. You just missed it. There it is for anyone curious. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Oh, no, no. Hold on. Yeah, Steve Jones got it. I looked. I'm like, Jessica, Dustin, if you put corn hole, her message didn't show. <laughs> but she was still behind uh, Randy and behind uh, Steve Jones here. So Steve Jones was the first to say it uh, with cornhole there. Congratulations, Steve Jones. Skadink, skadink, skadoosh. Stevie Jones. There you have it. Aiden, so close. No cigarello. No cigarello for you. Very sorry. The, who won this Beast Whisperer? You guys remember who won the Beast Whisperer earlier? I didn't put their name on this. Wet potato. Uh, Aiden, email me and uh, I'll send you a Sheevan Dragon. A signed Sheevan Dragon, my ninja. There you go. One of my favorite dragons growing up as a kid. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> Alexa played his Despacito. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> what up, camp? Herman won the Beastmaster. Did Herman? Yeah. No, Herman Herman did not win the Beastmaster. Herman won one of the Commander decks, man. <laughs> Herman won it all. That was the beginning of the live stream. It's hilarious. If you guys didn't see the beginning, man, go back and watch. It's fun. It is fun times. There you go, brother. All right, guys and gals, it looks like it's checkout time, as the good Tupac Shakur would say. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, we are out of here, though, my friends. We are out of here. New members, three. Thanks for new members, man. And also, if you're interested in Patreon, make sure you check that out as well. And, uh, yeah, skadoosh yourself. Thanks for watching, guys. We're out of here. Skadoosh. Wow, it was like a 45-second delay. <laughs> Funny stuff. Unbelievable. Pit a pat, my name is Pit a pat.